quiet this time hello, to let friend. you guys know hello. that we're here. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. 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 This is so, so gentle and quiet because I forgot hello. to put the music on before the stream. Hello. We'll remember next week. Scare you. It's we'll remember next week. Do, 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 do. Next week. Um, I have something very, I have a, oh, I should probably put the video on too, huh? Hey, oh, yeah, Brandon, that, that would help. <laughs> Hello. Um, oh, hey. See, I was hey, whispering everybody. and I didn't want to scare anyone yeah. with our, with our, it was a great idea. Cuckle doodle do. Oh, wake <laughs> up, bitches. Wake, wake up, up, bitches. Oh, oh, Woo! I didn't know where we're going. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> My friends, my family, my colleagues, I have a very important announcement I need to make on this stream oh, at the top. Sure. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yay! Yay! Brandon, hold on, hold on, Brandon. Brandon, that's really good. <laughs> Brandon, that's really good. Brandon. Yeah! Yay! Hey. Wait, I'm gonna run oh. downstairs and try to see if it's here. Hold on. God, that's so good, guys. It's very oh, good. Oh, baby. Model. Oh, Brandon, you're modeling it so effectively. Oh my God. People are looking at this and they're saying, I gotta buy me one of those at jointhepartypod.com slash merch. That's nice. That's nice. It's the nice There's a little peek behind the curtain, everybody. So uh, Zoe Polanda Ryder, our fabulous uh, merch uh, designer and manager. Uh, so so she is not just in charge of making sure you get your items on time, but also actually making and designing the items, which is Incredible. amazing. Ours. I'm sorry, ours isn't here yet. Hopefully it'll be here <laughs> by the end of the stream. Um, she uh, made three versions of the Camp Die logo after Eric sent her some details on, you know, we decided on the wall and the sun and the paw print, et cetera. Um, and they were all so good that we were like, you know what? We just got to put different versions of them on different things. That's true. Um, and I think Brandon, you were like 10 out of 10, I'm playing my card, I'm laying it down, I need this on a t-shirt. And we were like, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. So if you and also it's... own the dad hat, that's that was that's my other logo. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And it's so soft and oh, it is real comfy. Oh, yeah. If you Brandon, ever, if it, it fits you just right, you know how the, oh, the seam you, should line you. up with your shoulder? It That's looks great. Perfect. It looks thank great. you, thank you. If you yeah. were ever a um like a scene kid or an emo kid in the uh late two thousands and you know yeah, about boy. thrifting and yeah. it feels like a shirt that I thrifted, Ooh. like one of those weird green and yellow yeah. camp shirts, it's perfect. Yeah. Brandon, oh, yeah. did you thrift a lot when you were in school? Uh, I did. I I originally wore literal girl girl jeans. Like I I of went course. and bought. Yeah. I think I was a size five six. I think something like hey, that. Hey hey Brandon, jeans have no gender, babe. Yeah, that's, it's just it's whatever. Well, I know that's what I was trying. I was trying to buck oh, yeah. the trend, you know. That's why you're a true ally. <laughs> Brandon notoriously hates pockets, which is why he bought girl jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have a we have a wild Sarah Bear in the chat. Hello, Sarah Bear. Yay. Yay. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, uh, Julia, what yes. was your intro now? <laughs> All right, so I have a Target Boys XL alert. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> it's covered in sharks. Oh, that that's good. Even plan. Both Julia and Brandon said, "I have an intro for this stream," and we said, "Oh, great." They're both shirt related. I had yeah. no idea. Amanda, I I regret to inform you that they did not have this in a like regular men's size. An adult, yeah, would have gotten you one, but Julia, I saw it and I was like, I know you would have, and I appreciate you looking out for me. Um, I'm gonna just find something else cool to wear. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Yeah, shout out to Target you. Boys XL. I love Target Boys you. XL. Me and. <laughs> Excuse me, me and Julia have written you both a postcard to say how good you both look today. So it's in the mail. That's um, true. Oh, as well. So. Yes. Eric yes. just got a haircut. Oh, it didn't it didn't show up yet, so I'm sure I'm sure it'll be It'll there. show up at the same time <laughs> as the <laughs> stream. I'm sure it'll show up during the stream and then uh, I think we're gonna find <laughs> Eric and I do have a problem which plagues a lot of um couples where where one or more members is queer. Is it um, that we've been dating for five years and today is our anniversary? That's not a problem, yes. honey. That's a wonderful reason we had a diner <laughs> breakfast this morning. Um <laughs> The problem muck is bang, that muck bang, muck bang, muck bang, muck bang. This sushi that Jake just delivered to me. Thanks, Incredible. Jake. I Thanks, like that it's in a bowl. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And there's Ooh. Thanks, Jake, that oh, there you go. <laughs> I you can tell you. Jake loves horror movies because his um framing game is <laughs> truly incredible. <laughs> Jake Thank wants to be enjoy the party content so bad. <laughs> Anybody at the five or ten dollar level of the join the party Patreon 
Watch the skies tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern. Eyes in the skies. Mm-hmm. Eyes, Eyes in the skies. skies. Eyes in the skies. Uh, I anyway, interrupted no, Eric, you, yes. What continue. I was going to say is that um, we have a problem where we like similar clothes and accessories. Oh, yeah. And I just got a new pair of glasses, the same model, but in a different color. They're a lovely forest green, which I love that color. And it's an undertone in many of my tattoos. So it's a nice little, you know, mm. way I can um, accessorize with myself. Mm-hmm. Um, however, they look exactly like Eric's. So I cannot <laughs> wear them on the stream. <laughs> Wait, I do want, you, I do want to see them, though. You don't have to show the people, but at some point I must see them. Uh, yeah, uh, Brandon, please. you're you're looking at them. They're just on Eric's face. Uh, it's oh, just okay. that, but olive green <laughs> instead of navy blue. You know what? Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. You really did get the same one as mine? You got the same one as mine. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> in your own color and then i got mine again in a new color no they're mine now they're mine <laughs> so now i just have to get a wild color that cannot be confused with blue in any way um so that's well, what i'll working. do next. i'm gonna get like red glasses like bruce valanche mm. <laughs> mm, i like it yeah that is true, I, though. yeah Sorry. i yeah, also this, it this is, is a running joke with my sweat. friends that it's a running joke with my friends that like i thought bruce valanche was dead and they keep telling me he's not. And I'm like, no, he did. He was so great at Hollywood Squares. And now he's dead. But no, he's still alive. He's doing Eric, great. I don't know who Bruce Valanche is. No, I'm me so neither. Sorry. He was on Hollywood Squares. He was like the head writer of like the Emmys for a while. He was like on the, on like a bunch of 90s uh, like game shows for a nice. while. He has oh. statement classes. That's a very pretty much important thing. Gotcha. <laughs> that does feel um, like a really you reference. Yeah. Bruce you Valanche. Got... Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a it's an Eric word I think is what the thing is it's like it's the it's the sp- specific combination of uh, Bruce vowels yeah. and syllables and mm-hmm. and, and just uh, feels right. phen- phenomes or whatever they're called mm-hmm. it's just a, it's an Eric word uh, you have guys have lots of congrats in the chat for your anniversary oh thank so. you thank yeah. you Eric do you want to um, share what we you know that thing where like it's your birthday so you buy the office cupcakes something yeah. like that mm-hmm. um, we did the same thing but for TTRPGs in the world do you want to do you want to tell right. people about what we did today? <laughs> That's true. Well, the first, yeah, here's what we did today. The first thing we did was we got up and we were going to go to a diner. We we were going to like go to an actual diner. And then Amanda woke up with a headache and I was very sleepy. So we got diner or we ordered diner breakfast in, which is great. The better move. So, yeah. <laughs> it was a pro move. And then we were watching Drawfee and the most recent uh, video, which was the like grab bag one that they just put out like two days ago. We were watching it. And the last thing that they drew, uh, I think Julia drew um not the me. combat wheelchair other not julia. you other different julia uh drew the combat wheelchair which you know was a big deal in like 2019 mm-hmm. when like someone made a, a wheelchair accessible ca- D character and everyone was uh, upset about it apparently everyone bad mm-hmm. was upset and everyone good was like sick was like cool so she yeah, so yeah. she she drew that and they were talking about how drawfee they were like what if there was a drawfee tabletop rpg about like stuff that we did and things that happened and uh, Eric paused the video and he turned to me and he said, you know, if you did, this is what it would be. And I said, great, Eric, write it down, put it on the internet. And he was like, no, no, no. But like what it would be is, blah, blah. and I'm like, Eric, write it down right now. <laughs> and uh, 45 minutes later, uh, we had, uh, we had a, a PDF. Yeah. That's good. So I just wanted to share, if anyone hadn't seen it, I just kind of wanted to share it because yeah, I think go it's for neat. It. Put it on the screen, um, baby. Yeah. Cool. Um, the love right. furniture chat says, whoa, today is also my parents' wedding anniversary, 38 years. Whoa. Oh, hey. Well, we're your mom and dad, so that makes sense. Thanks <laughs> for calling us. <laughs> yes. So this mm. is what we put together. Mm. So basically, it's more about being a content zoom creator. Zoom in, baby. Zoom in. Oh, I can zoom. Zoom in on that bad boy. Oh, yes. Cool. All right, there we go. So it's more about being like a content creator, but I'm taking like one pager of the game mechanics. Basically, you're running a drawfee stream, which means you're making jokes and drawing at the same time, pretty much. So the way that you play is you just need to keep like a stream going. You just need to like make content for it as, as fast as possible. So you make up your character, well, whoever it is. It can be you. It can be the person from Drawfee. You can be uh, whoever you want. For example, I made up Jensen Johnson, who is a Kirby 64 speedrunner. Mm-hmm. Also a, a Eric word, if I will say so myself. Mm-hmm. Jensen Johnson's true, but his class is Nathan. So we'll, we'll get there. There's some classes. Basically, you just need to make content and then every form, and then you set a timer for four minutes. And every time the timer goes off, you have to roll a D6 and every, four fives and sixes are successes. And you have to get 16 and you get a drawing point, which means you drew something cool and everyone needs to talk about how cool the thing you drew was. And then uh, from there, you need to just get 16 drawing points because then, then you can end the stream. 
So, <laughs> and, and only once you have it. What's clear watching Drawfee content, God love them, is that they want it to be over. They want it. They want to <laughs> stop doing it. So they have to get there. And basically, you're able. You just do that consistently, and you roll on the content disaster table, which is something you need to deal with as you're as you're doing this. Um, and then you just basically keep resetting and whatever happens on the disaster table happens and you just keep working out and then eventually um, you get 16 drawing points. There's also a thing, if you make a really good joke that makes everyone laugh, you get to roll a d6 immediately to see if you get a drawing point, which yes. I thought was really funny. <laughs> so here are the things that we came up with that I'm really happy about. First of all, the classes is you can eliminate, you can just eliminate certain disasters if you, because you're that kind of person. So Nathan just makes you feel better. So immediately anything that makes you feel bad, Nathan can just eliminate. Karina can deal with internet hate really well. Uh, Jacob can deal with cat-related disasters. Um, and Julia deals with business emails. So you can just eliminate one of those. Again, not me. Not good at business No, different emails. Julia. <laughs> I'm, really I'm really proud of the content disaster table, which we came up with. These are some of my funny ones. Real ones. Milo vibes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> shout out to 18. That's my personal favorite. 18 is so funny. Someone in chat asks, what is this? And you have to recap everything that happened in the game so far. <laughs> I, I really like this Nightmare. one. Number two, your camera stops working. You have to cover your eyes for <laughs> the rest was, of the round. I loved that one. That was so good. Thanks. I really I just, enjoyed number 12. The terrible company you used to work for did something terrible. Yeah. And you have to talk about it because chat is like, hey, but also you signed an NDA in order to get severance. And so you have to kind of uh, deal with those two things. Yeah. 11 is one of my favorites. A content creator you think is better than you is doing something cool right now. Do you talk about it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> You're self-deprecating for two rounds. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my, I think this one's my favorite. 16. You should have plugged the Patreon half an hour ago. So you plug it really hard immediately. <laughs> that's how yeah. it do so it's just con it's just like content create this, this is like the content creator tabletop rpg but um i really i mean like it's fun coming up with game mechanics you know like i took a little bit from goat party or goat crashers mm -hmm. and i used a timer which is like you know that's the thing about tabletop rpgs you just do whatever the fuck you know so um i thought that was really fun i'm glad that we kind of just like threw this together mm -hmm. um Yo, so Which I was happy about. Y'all in the chat should tweet at uh, Drawfee and say that they should play this game with us. Mm -hmm. They should. That's true. They should. Wouldn't that be cool? I'm going to mm -hmm. bring out my... I've, can one of you take the tweet from my Twitter and put it in the chat? Yes, I can do it. Certainly. Yes. Thank you. Um, so we're hoping they see it because they said they wanted it, and then they said they would play it. And then we made so it. So I'm like, That's well, true. I made it. So... Let's play, baby. Go. If you want it. Speaking of let's play, baby... Eric, what else are we here to do today? Uh, no, um, pretty much just this. Just talk okay, about a cool, cool game. Fair enough. Uh, while, you're pulling, while you're pulling the new stuff up, I do want to say um, hello to first time chatters, Love Vern, or uh, sorry, uh, Chrissy hey. Mack, Summerbird. Um, there's one other person, but welcome all first timers. And uh, for Cat Rose, I was wondering, what's everyone drinking? I'm yeah. drinking a oh. Widmere Drop Top Amber Ale. Ooh, Love nice. it. Uh, Eric, you go get it. I have to get this out of this. No, it's okay. I'm drinking gin tonic. Oh, that's what Amanda's drinking. I'm drinking uh, uh, our favorite Genesee cream ale, but I put it in Amanda's uh, brewmate because Amanda put is too tall and put uh, mine too far away. So I'm <laughs> using hers to keep mine cold because that's called relationships. Story of my life. <laughs> uh, so. I'm having a Tiki Paradise, which is a dessert Berliner wise from mm. Port Harbor. Ooh. Yeah, hey, Julia, dude. I want to drink the fuck out of that. It's like pretty good. It's not like fantastic. Uh, yeah, okay. I think I bought it because I thought it said, hold on, let me see if I can. It said pineapple coconut chill. And I think I thought it said pineapple coconut chili. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> no. Pretty good still. Pretty good. Pretty yep. good. Uh, all right. You guys want to fucking do some uh, some side quests? Let's I do. It. But I also want to say Rumble Roar, Rumble Roar is raiding us with a party of eight so thank you welcome oh, hey. our first raid our thank first you, raid Rumble baby Roar. thank you for coming and thanks everybody else we run a dungeons and dragons and now monster of the week a ttrpg podcast that you would really enjoy if you'll join the party and here today we conveniently have a slide to explain what we do we're gonna do this mm -hmm. we're doing side quests baby this is what i hear it just the right time 
Yeah. Just the right time. I know. All right. We're doing side quests. This is where we make up plot hooks. We make up small adventures. We make up NPCs. We make up items. We make up things that you would use in a tabletop RPG that maybe you were running or someone you or you can ruin someone else's game with it. Uh, you tell us tell us your genre, anything you want to see, genre, characters, adjectives, verbs, nouns, anything that you want us to kind of make up as we do this. Each of us are going to have a time for us to lead as I'm going to kind of uh, drive here in Canva. Canva, sponsor me, please. Uh, I'm really cool. And uh, did you know that you have a Prime Gaming sub? You can use that for us. <laughs> And it's there's Garterton at the at the bottom there. Oh, Our no, sweet Garterton. boy Garterton is still here. Last time, I just a buddy. A little reference. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get a raid. Thank you, everybody. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. I like seeing new people. That's the voice of Garterton. They can put their feet inside me. Oh, now, no. if you are curious and not not scared by that impression, I have free news for you. <laughs> What's wrong with me? And that's what you have in store. Is it because I have moving eyes? That certainly helps. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure does. Is it because I have a hole at the top of my head? Two oh, holes. no. Eric, Actually, you... three. <laughs> Zoom got so overwhelmed by your, your character oh, no. that it was like, You're... no more. You're beating no. so hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I have three holes. I won't tell you which one. Okay. <laughs> Let's right. move it Who's going first? Forward. Mm. Well, Gulia. I have a thought. I have a thought here. So, Brand, so we we here on Join the Party have we have just changed our Patreon, right? Mm -hmm. We did. We've just updated it a little bit. We got some new tiers. We got some cool stuff, and now we have a new goal, right? Which is that Brandon, when we have seven hundred fifty patrons, will run a one shot. Correct. It's a me. Mm -hmm. So during the uh, last party planning, I had said everyone, people should message me about the things they want me to play in Brandon's one shot. So for anybody new, Eric is our DM and so and GM now in Monster of the Week and our keeper. So the chance to play a character is like what? It's very good. So I got some suggestions and I thought that I would share them here. And I think that all of us should come up with the characters we're gonna play in Brandon's one shot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and can uh, also... we can come up with their backstory or something. We can do that on one slide. Okay. We can do that on three slides, whatever whatever you think. I love it. Can I also come up with um Get, uh, characters for all of for you three after you've done creating your characters. Ooh, yeah, if you want that. to. I like that. Yeah, some rule, some rule, real rule abiding citizens. <laughs> See, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I, and like Brandon, you could also throw out just like a genre that we're all inside of. It doesn't have to be the one you want to do. Okay. I just think that like if you have one, but I would yeah. like to share some of the ones that people have already messaged me about. Okay. Um, I think I'll give you the genre now because chat has already got it for me. Everyone or a couple of folks in the chat are talking about pirates. So I think our genre will be pirates. But All share right. those uh, suggestions. I'm into it. Cool. All right. So I got a tweet from Laylas Gold that said for Brandon's one shot, just be the fish from Chicken Little, which apparently is a very angry fish that is ru running around a uh, gladiator, uh, gladiatorial fight. That has like, and it has like a, a diving bell of water as a head. It <laughs> is terrifying part. and manic. I hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so definitely the character you're gonna play, right? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. definitely gonna play that. But it, I also have this one, a uh, color duck. Uh, when Brandon DMs, you should play a grandma that just wants to make pancakes for everyone they meet. Great. That's I awesome. That. Very cute. That's a pretty good one. Uh, really I good got this. That, yeah. Let's see. I got another one on Instagram that I got to switch over to. Um, Very let's good. See. Oh, this one's from Sabrina. You should play a crazy cat lady, but instead of cats, it's lobsters. And every once in a while, she just throws <laughs> lobsters at people. No reason. It's just a nervous tick. That's a real Julia vibe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that good for you? Do you like that? I like that. Personally. I like that. I like it. Um, Someone also sent me like a, like a, like a very long, they sent me a, a character that their child played in their own game. Incredible. And I can't find the message, but I swear wow. it was like five paragraphs long and it was very, very <laughs> wild. So I cannot play oh. that one. That's your child's IP. I respect IP. I love it. I love hey. it. Um, Eric and Julia, I, at least, I know you know this. You know that episode, I think it's on the Patreon maybe, but it might be on the main feed of Hey Riddle Riddle, where Adel runs a one shot for um, the other, for JPC and Aaron. Yeah. And about... 
mm, a quarter of the way in, you can hear just the life essence deflate <laughs> out of Adel. It's it's the uh, the Harry Potter one that they were in. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Right when they they kill everyone with Avada Kedavra as soon as yeah. they walk in the room. Right. Yeah. 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 I feel yeah. like that's what's gonna happen with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lunch, uh... Brandon, that's why the people have to pay for it. <laughs> mm. Need to make it happen. Yeah. All right. That, so I... def- Go ahead. That didn't happen to me like back in 2018. So mm-hmm. I'm fine. Don't worry. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't on the show back then. So nope. yeah. Julia's Julia, Julia Julia good. Yeah. All right. So we got some pirate stuff. Do we, do, hey, do, do we want to make some some pirates and throw them in here? Yes. I think, yes. We, can all, I think we can all share too. I, yeah. I think that's fine. I think um, three, three PCs get it. Pirate characters. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now we're in the right mood. Oh, arr. Oh, boy. <laughs> the seven PCs. <laughs> Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just didn't want to ban this in. Okay. Uh, would you like me to go first in terms of creating my character? Yeah, do, do it. it. Yeah, do whatever. All right. Well, I'm thinking now about the, the old lady who throws uh, lobsters at people. Okay, great. Which is a great recommendation. I also, before we got started, really liked the idea of like a midwestern mom but make her a pirate Ooh. <laughs> incredible like she has like a leather fanny pack or like a canvas fanny pack yes uh and she which she it's probably like a bag of holding but it's it's full of lobsters apparently now yeah. um, julia is this good or is this weird um kind of weird it feels weird i just wanted to double check i like oh go back down i saw i saw one that i liked that lady right under under mama yep oh yeah <laughs> yep that's uh, she's her. nice she's nice oh she's nice you can also change her colors too which is incredible nice. can you put a, a a pirate hat on her please oh absolutely Thank do you yeah. want to change like the color of her shirt or her uh yeah i think it should be like a real like white and blue situation mm. instead oh, of yeah. the pink yeah yeah um, she's a she's a nautical yeah. sailor yep oh, i love this oh fuck it all mm. up just a, a real that. quick uh, interstitial for you two. Mage Silverleaf says happy anniversary and gave you four cheers. Oh, hey. it's me. That one. Thank you. You like that one? Yeah. That's and a... thank you for the and cheers can... left fern as well. And you can change the uh, the colors on that one as well. That's yep. cool. Change it to blue. <laughs> they... Listen, guys. Incredible. Pirates are out here matching. Okay? Yeah. They're yeah. out. We are out here. Okay. Do you want? So does she have uh She has uh, a lobster. Lobsters? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Julia, she's I... basically cradling a lobster in her arms right now. Right, that's that just true. like yeah. that, those flowers should be lobsters. Is the, yes, the thing. <laughs> Great, there we go. Excellent, incredible. Okay, just... here are some lobsters. Just the rest oh, yes, of the that's survey. Good. That's good. There's I, this I, one. I hate yeah. him. There's this oh, guy. Wow. Oh, it's he's getting good. worse somehow. Oh yeah. Um, There's this. Okay. I, hate, I hate this. This has no. This has no lines. This I don't like that. Yeah. It's really. Oh no, I don't like that. Changed her mind first one you chose is the best yes yes is this nope. lad no <laughs> no no too big no even like no. hard no what hard that's no. not yes. even a fucking lobster that's a centipede with lobster coloring like what no. the fuck what I do you mean i hate him he looks like french <laughs> i hate him oh i'm going to sink your ship <laughs> oh brandon i'm just giving you npcs right now oh thank you thank you <laughs> Uh, can you can you put the lobster back in her arms? Thank you. Yeah. She needs oh, it. thank you. Thank this you. guy is the fucking final boss, and he's one of the characters in Peggle. He's, <laughs> he's a French. He's a French lobster. Great. In Peggle Knights, him. he's a kaiju, so he's actually that's actually what this guy is. Every Shout out to all my Peggle hats. Pokes up. I hate. I know. It. <laughs> I hate it, Julia. <laughs> Uh, and then I think she's also probably like, are we playing like D and D? Because like she's probably a druid. And she probably sure. like turns into like a, a half like lobster, half crab person. Sure. There's a, if good. you go down to the magic recommendations there, Eric, real quick. Oh yeah. Ooh, uh, there are hands? there is a yeah. There's the hands all the way on the left. Oh, the hands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you just like attach those to her, please, somehow? Sure. Yeah. Maybe she's like a she's an astral monk, but she instead of astral Ooh, projection, it's just sea that. creatures. Yeah. Mm, well, like specifically that. lobsters, not sea creatures. Bugs, yeah. sea bugs, crustaceans. <laughs> yeah. Br- uh, Brandon's really following the rules of kosher, and then it's a sea bugs. So. <laughs> uh, I and I think like she, lobsters. <laughs> I think she like went out to sea, uh, because like her uh, adult or uh, older teenage son oh, also yeah. went out to be a pirate, and she wants to like understand his lived Aww. experience, but That's also really like is worried about him. So 
real. I think like, we're just gonna search adult son. I know. I'm like, oh, dirt bag, adult son. <laughs> real, um, real like why mom is Goku and child. In there? <laughs> Where's Goku? You know why? There. <laughs> and Goku is and Goku's her adult yep. son. Yep, Goku's her adult son. Yeah. And ends up being like a you know lieutenant on the big bad ship. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And she has to like set him straight, be like, listen, yeah. I understand the choices that you made. Mm-hmm. Uh I I just like I don't think you're on the right path, my son. Listen, my I came out here wanting to understand you better, but actually I understand myself better. <laughs> Julia, I'm like really attached to this woman. I am as well. <laughs> Julia, right, I, Julia have very, gonna... I have a very important question for you, Julia. Mm-hmm. What does happen if someone eats a lobster around this woman? Uh, she as well, I, I don't know if she could do this as a monk, but if she's a druid, uh, she does have some like necrotic spells that could bring that lobster back to life and then it eats mm. its way from the inside of their stomach. Oh, that's zombie, lobster. Cool. zombie <laughs> lobster. Okay, zombie lobster. Zombie lobster. You took me from scared to totally on board with on this team. <laughs> Sometimes you ask Canva for something and they're like, "What?" It's like, Excuse me. <laughs> there it is. Did you no, get another too. French there ass is. lobster in there? Yeah. Well, he's a zombie. Lo- he's the zombie lobster. I like the dusk coloring for the dusk him. coloring. Yeah. Yeah. That's a yeah, zombie that's lobster. That's good. Zombie French lobster. <laughs> Lamb, lamps, lobster. <laughs> You should flip it um, vertically just to just to fuck with the designer who made okay. it. Dunk me in butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah, Canva. Uh, I think Canva's having an internet issue for a second because the saving fine. is paused, but I think it's okay. Um, our first time chatter, I... Lil Cobweb, says, love watching, watching Eric work. And yes, Eric does have Canva wizardry. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> Shout out to Little Cobweb for having an incredible joke. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey guys, my name's Little Cobweb. Hey, Little Cobweb. Uh, I who's like a tight who's like a tiny witch rapper. I yeah. love it. <laughs> I think I think Little Cobweb was there for is there for um house breakfast. And I think that I said mm-hmm. the same thing. Yep. I'm so tickled by the name Little Cobweb. Have you enjoyed that Little Cobweb? They say what's up. Or it's like if there was like a ruffian gang of zombies yeah. and be like, and I'm the <laughs> well, cobweb stab Mercutio. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric, I would please like to be um a the ship chef. Oh, sorry. I I do. I don't. I'm not done with Julia because oh. I think we should do this for everybody. I was trying to get X's oh. for everybody. No, that's I'm fine. This. Julia, I think what we need though is we need a name. And oh, I her name's everyone... Janet. Oh, Janet. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, Julia knows. Oh, uh, what's your last name, Julia? Weatherby. No, thank you. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Julia. Oh, with a From Y the pro- at the end. Thank you. Oh, Weatherby. From the producer who brought you Garterton. That's Weather I Bay. That's Weather Bay. I yeah. always no, got a no name e. ready. That's fine. I'll take it. I had an E. I thought you wanted a Y at the end. B-Y yeah, I meant just, like, just a Y instead of the double E, but I like Weather Bay. Weather <laughs> Bay. That's even better. Weather Bay. Weather Bay. Change by, it. Weather Bay. Weather Bay. Weather Bay. Yeah. Tra- I didn't make this up. I was swallowing what someone else said. I got you. <laughs> Sorry. I will stop peeking. I'm just having a good time with my friends. <laughs> Uh, it's Jenner. difficult to do so at a consistent volume, but yeah, exactly. here you right. are. There's Janet Weatherby. Um, do you have a character name for Jerick? Uh, a character voice for Janet Weatherby? Uh, it's if I could do a Midwestern accent, it would sound like a mm-hmm. Midwestern accent. Cool. Just say "ope" and then just find your way, oh. Julia. Oh, sorry. Uh, and Julia, really final question. So we're all three of us. I think need to answer these questions. Name, character voice, and uh, what random thing are you going to do to fuck over Brandon? <laughs> Uh, I am going to bring lobsters back to life in the uh, the stomachs of our enemies. Incredible. Great, good, good, good. Excellent. <laughs> Love it. You're, Brandon's going to have to have stat blocks of so many lobsters on him at all times. You know what? The thing is, I still haven't forgiven Brandon for the Thanksgiving turkey debacle of season two. <laughs> That's true. And, uh, Confirmed. This is, true. My, this is my payback. That's true. I'm also uh, playing a, a druid who actually heals people. That was a smart, <laughs> intelligent strategic move that just didn't pan out well <laughs> yeah everyone remembers uh, the everyone remembers that and that's how it went mm-hmm. uh wonderful okay so we got now, this i think it's good amanda you said you wanted to be the ship <laughs> the ship's cook oh okay okay Sorry, I have to make this overwhelming to really. But I don't know, know what, I Brandon, think, Amanda. I think you should be the you ship. Know what, Brandon, now I'm a druid, and my the, the tree I occupy is your ship. 
You're welcome. You're, you're doing riding it again. In Ooh, Amanda, my stomach. What if you're an artificer who built the ship, but you also built it into a mech for yourself? Yes, Julia, that's exactly right. And right, I am the really masthead. Good. I am the uh, the <laughs> the figure at the front of the boat. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, that's what it. What are they called? Is that what yes, called? military. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> They're called. I don't know, made, is, is it... No, the maiden head. I don't know if that's it. Hold on. I'm... That's that's lady on virginity. front of ship. Lady on front of ship. What is that called? Figurehead. Prow. Decoration. F figurehead. All right. We'll call. Oh nice. yeah, there, there Nailed she it. is. There she is. Nailed it. <laughs> that's me. That's Amanda. I like it. I like. I like how now that we've we're like, hey, it's pirates, but also it's mechs. Yep. Yep. Exactly right. We're Pirate trying mechs. to fuck over Brandon as much as possible. So now it's pirates, mechs. mechs, zombies. We've got it all, baby. We got really. it all. All right. I like this. You're I was going to play the rat from Ratatouille as the ship's captain, but this is better. <laughs> that would have been so good. <laughs> That's Eric, also still, good. Eric still has a character, so. That's true. <laughs> That's very good. All right. I like that. <laughs> That's Great. it. We're done. Great. All right. Uh, we're going to <laughs> I'm too loud? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, yeah, I, um, my name is Martha. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the ship is called like the vengeance. The, the ship is Martha called... quote the vengeance. Yeah. Yeah. E -A -N -C. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, and then my last name is like white or something. White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, yep. funny. That's very funny. That's it. Um, I used to be a tree long ago, uh, and uh, or or my my bones did, and now I am an artificer. That's so um, that's so blended with my craft um, that I am the ship incarnate. And uh, when we are in battle and when we sustain damage, I just yell obscenities at um, our foe, and yep. that's how I contribute. In addition to just like keeping keeping myself together, keeping everyone that. alive. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I like that. I love that. Um, that's pretty um, funny. Carl's Mac from the chat uh, said Martha and Janet definitely knit together once a week, which is very <laughs> funny to me. I, I feel like that rigging. I'm great at knitting. I feel like Janet has done that thing where like people crochet stuff around like poles and stuff just for oh, like yeah. every mast. Yes, Julia. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little like yarn. yarn. Oh, sweater I, for I like looked away for a second and now there's several more zombie lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, What's happening with these eyeballs? Wait. Oh, these are just like some different forms for the for Martha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, if Martha is in the ship for too long, then you you become kind of strung out. And then there's like battle Martha. And then there's also like just regular Martha. So I thought that all these eyes could symbolize yeah. that. Oh, I think they each form has a different name. Uh, it deep cut like Zoids uh, and the the uh, <laughs> the Liger. That's really good. Um, no, that's true. I really like the idea of like the evil one being like Martha the Kraken White. Oh, that's good. I like that. I, li I like that they all have names. I like yeah, how they all have names. That's really yeah, good. That's good. Um, Is that one sleepy? Yeah, that yeah the third one is when you sail for too many days without a rest and yes. the ship is like my bones are creaky like i don't like that <laughs> please my no bones. i think the ship's character voice is like hey why like, <laughs> i don't want to go we're sailing just... so much there's like barnacles on my tongue every time I we like hoist the to. sails you're just like mm. ow 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 <laughs> Give me some yeah. warning. Come on. Why can't we sail in more tempered water? <laughs> it's so cold. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, yeah. Life. Yeah. And Martha's voice is like, I'm so tired. My bones don't want to stick together. Are you are you <laughs> British? Is yes. Martha British? Yes, she is. Yeah, that's funny. Yep. Yeah. Eric, everyone on the ship is British. Uh, right. Janet isn't. Excuse me. <laughs> every Janet's person. From the Midwest. And not every Goku. person. Janet is a lobster. <laughs> yeah, well, what about Goku, Brandon? Not. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, Goku's like a alien of some kind, so I don't know that's what true. they call themselves. That's a good point. That's you know, point. I think yeah. I he's think a Martha, Saiyan. Martha's Brandon. He's like a, a Saiyan. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like the generic person noun that they use. You know. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see the sleepy boy and explosion. Joe, cute. Wait, what okay. were you saying, Amanda? We cut you off. 
uh no i i think i think um martha white the figurehead is like a you know daughter of like a british um shipbuilder and then they got a bunch of new oak from the americas that's why the the voice is, is american <laughs> and um i love nouveau. that they're like i don't want to work and I'm... martha's like the caste system has failed us <laughs> I really like the idea of you being cursed into the in here. Yeah, like that's true. You definitely like they use they use a tree from the new world, and now you're cursed to be a part of the to be mm-hmm. on the ship at all. Times. I was like given a the, deadline. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. A dry agile is what I was thinking. Of. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I, I was like cursed with a deadline, and like my dad was sick, and I was like, this is finally my chance to prove that I can build a ship of my own. And then like the deadline was impossible and made for me to fail, and I struck a deal with the devil um, in order to uh, get the ship done in time. And so now they're like, oh, you want to be at the helm of a brand new ship building uh, empire? Great news, literal figurehead. Um, and so now Martha has to listen to the new american tree (laughs) bitch and moan every real like imperialist like pocahontas vibes (laughs) yes brandon that's because it's all bad it's a real (laughs) you've really combined both artificer and warlock in this and i appreciate it thank you i I think this is really funny i really like this thank you i also typed in christian devil and i got some fun (laughs) i realized that you probably didn't have to do that but i appreciate that you did listen that's what they meant by the christian devil hey what's (laughs) happening it's a christian devil Uh, it's a woman who has rights it's a christian devil (laughs) famously (laughs) jesus christ that's dark not wrong here and then there's this thing whatever this is i don't know it looks like an anime version of the bible yeah that's that's like i think (laughs) that's that's gabriel fighting yeah 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 yeah. 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 julia i think the bible is the anime version of the bible well they should animate it more (laughs) (laughs) julia don't give them more ideas to do anime bible no they should do it Ah, maybe. let them do it That's amazing there's a lot cool. more like sheep economics in the bible than people think there is yeah and I, for a lot of it is chic riveted by yep. that anime yep. yeah there it is good job all right eric. eric we gotta move to you because i need to know i've been waiting on pins and needles yeah. how exactly you're going to fuck me <laughs> okay cool, cool, cool oh wait do we do we, we ask all, all the questions, questions? martha the white name. Many character, character voice. voices, yeah. and then how are you going to fuck over Brandon? I mean, being the ship, I think, is pretty yeah. fair. Some, sometimes my parents just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be like, all right, and then you guys we <laughs> take can't a... go any further. <laughs> and um, sorry, take it out with management. <laughs> I'm really still you... finding Martha's voice, but... You uh, you ship off down the open sea. No, we don't actually. I'm the ship. No, and we say don't. we don't. Uh, no, Brandon. Okay, my, no adventures. My one thing as a character is that I can just not. And today I don't. So cool, cool. I love um, this voice, Amanda. <laughs> I like you really do need to do a thank British you. accent for one of them. It'd be thank incredible. You. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I have my character. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's a hot devil. Great. Uh, she's going to be there. No. Eric, she's a Christian. Yeah, Sorry. She's know. a hot Christian devil. Yeah. Um, and she's also. Uh, the bad side of Janet. Are Weatherby. you? S- you're really going to be a, a hot devil. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm it's not even a... nautical, goddammit. Bring it back up for a second. Yeah, sure. I just want to point out that this looks like this was art that existed. And yeah. then someone was like, you know what this is missing? Brunette hair. And then they just like <laughs> really badly like MS Paint put brunette hair on an existing picture. Oh, fuck. It looks like, it like does, something Julia. from, like, Deviant Art, and they were originally nude, and then <laughs> for Canva, they were like, oh, we have yeah. to put clothes yeah. on her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, it was a stencil of a pinup, and she was supposed to, like, it looks like her foot is pressed against something. And yeah. then someone's yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to use this stencil and tail, horns. Boom. Because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, true. so some of the, like, some of the stuff has black outline, and I think that's the original. But like part of the tail uh, doesn't, the hair does not, mm, the yeah. one horn does not. There you go. And I'm so confused. 
Yeah, no, I see it. It's like in this area over yeah. here. Yeah. It's funny that she's actually a, an original character from the television show Friends from Central Perk. <laughs> oh, That's where that she's makes drinking. sense. Brandon, you could mm-hmm. tell me literally anything about the TV show Friends, and I would believe you yeah. because <laughs> I have seen none of it. Yeah, Amanda, this is Ross. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, this is <laughs> Gunther. More relatable. <laughs> this is, is that this is, is that the what is the haircut called? The that's Jennifer. the Rachel. No, that's, that's the Rachel. Rachel. That's the nice. Rachel. Yeah. It is yeah, the no, Rachel, actually. Yeah. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer's not on the show, but it was popularized by the by, by, sure. by Rachel. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, I was thinking about. I was thinking about what to do. I'm not really sure. I've noticed you left a. Christian Devil. I've noticed you left a giant space in the middle of this canvas for you to paint upon. So yeah. I'm very nervous. Do you want I to see say... that parrot in the middle there? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, I love him. A, he, do, guys, do you get it? He's a parrot key. Oh, uh, he's <laughs> a pirate key. He's a pirate key. Yeah. That's really good. I hey, love Julia, it. Hey, Julia, you get him. you get 10 comedy points. Congratulations. Oh, I only six him. away from winning the, the draw fee game then, guys. <laughs> no, those are comedy points. Those uh, are redeemable at the comedy store where oh, you can get like a sticky oh, hand okay. or Ooh. like a draw or like a little car. Or like Ooh. vampire fangs, or like Gak. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Makes All right. Sense. What I'm gonna do? All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um. Okay. Sorry. No one say. <laughs> no one say anything. Did you just type men? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he first he went salary man. Yeah, I was just. I thought it'd be really funny if like. <laughs> If this Office guy man. was just there, <laughs> is he the accountant no. for the pirates? He's just, he's just there. You know what, Eric? I was thinking someone should be the quartermaster, the keeper of the books. Um, I think it'd be funny if this guy's there. I don't know. I don't have anything. I I'm not I'm not feeling like super it's super inspired by anything okay. in particular. Okay. Um, I do love a modern accountant, a modern bookkeeper who comes yes. aboard our 19th century pirate boat. Okay, yeah. I have an idea. This okay. guy is an isekai. So he, he stumbled through a wormhole Great. where he was asleep, and then he he. But this was like a year ago. I like the idea that he was a main character of a different story, like a year mm-hmm. ago, mm-hmm. and now he's just on the ship. Great, mm-hmm. and he Love still it. has like a lot of the things that he had before. Like he still has his suit and like he get an Apple Watch. All the things that he had, yeah, he has an Apple Watch, but like it broke a while ago. It lost mm-hmm. its charge. There's yeah. no help for it. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's really funny. He has an Apple Watch, and it's cool. Thank you. Yeah. And so he's just like, he's a little piratey, but like not yet. And I think it's funny to like break the fourth wall a little bit <laughs> and being good. like, ah, everyone knows this is what happens in pirate town. I know. I learned when I came here a year ago. So that's I how fell you- through a portal in the sky. <laughs> that's how you're going to break Brandon. I'm glad you're getting ahead of these questions. Yeah, Great. I think that that's Excellent. what it is. Yeah. Uh, what's, I, what's his name? Oh, his name is Bradley. Mm-hmm. Octagonal. Limitless. Octagonal. <laughs> I was waiting for Bradley Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Bradley Cooper octagonal. <laughs> but like he stopped saying that to people because they didn't know who that they didn't know who that was. Really so uh, his name is Bradley Octagonal. And when he's uh, like asking people what year it is, he's like, "My name's Bradley Cooper," and they're like, "Fine." Like, do you make barrels? Okay. And he's like, "Finally." <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Fresh Eric, time. I do have a question for you. Yeah, and it's what is his pirate nickname? Uh, it, it's like <laughs> okay, it needs to be like it's Slippy. <laughs> oh, sli- Slippy, because he's in the slipstream. Woo! <laughs> I like really the good. idea. I like the idea <laughs> that it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> yeah, he lost an eye, and he, he go. got too big. He got too big of an eye patch. Nice. He um, looks like that one terrible politician whose name I don't remember and I don't care. Oh, Julie, I know who you're talking about. All of them. All of them. Well, yeah. the, specifically the one with the eye patch, Brandon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Ronald Reagan. Okay. Like yeah. Eye patch wearer is a bad name. Yeah. Yeah. Eye patches uh, were cool until that guy. That's yeah. true. Um, his nickname is probably like Rotted Fruit. It's not even, or it's like Guy We Don't Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric, they call him bananas because bananas are bad luck. That's right. Yeah. And stinky. And old stinky. bananas. Old or old, old Bradley bananas. Old Bradley bananas. 
I like the idea that it's like they can't even be they can't even come up with a good nickname for him because they just don't care. <laughs> he's he's like, yeah, I don't have I don't have a nickname. They just didn't really like they don't really accept me. And like I've tried to ask the captain for like team building exercises, and then he told me to a ye and um, <laughs> I just I'm I'm not even I'm so... old. I'm 26. I just graduated my finance degree, and I'm making three hundred thousand dollars at Bear Stern. Yeah, I and then I fell yeah, through just a the one bear. He fell through the he fell through the sky in two thousand seven. The <laughs> <laughs> singular bear stern. He never um, had to experience the recession. Good for no. him. Good for him. He's like, so uh, I figured like someone's gonna like pick me up someday, and this like it's promising. Fine. This is promising guy named Barack Obama from Illinois. <laughs> I just want to change things. Yeah, no, mm, I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, old Bradley Bananas would be a <laughs> <That's> true, <Julia. laughs> That's true. You know, Obama fan. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're gonna vote Bush again. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bradley Oct- Bradley Octagonal, I think is gonna be my character. Bradley Octagonal really loved Jeb! Exclamation point. Yeah, he loves Jeb. 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 Uh, <laughs> um, he's also a fighter. I think that he's not great. a good fighter. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, um, he's just like, should. He's a he's a battle master, but he doesn't know how to use any of his movements, so he's just bad at it. What I um, love about dies... what I love about you, Eric, is that whenever yeah. you're a player, you take yeah. a thing, and you you take the idea of like nerfing one little aspect of your character for interest, and just say, yeah. "What if all nerf? <laughs> what if they were all bad? What if, what if they're really bad? What if they're fighter but That'd can't funny. fight? <laughs> if you like that, would that be good for you? Yeah. That'd be good. Or, or here in response." He has like a regular gun <laughs> and uses it. And he needs to keep like figuring out ammo. <laughs> he just has a re- and he only has like four bullets. <laughs> because he uses the- and he, he keeps dropping it in the water so he doesn't that know would- if it's going to fire or not. That would be actually very funny to have a D&D character where you could only ever shoot four times and every time's a guaranteed crit. Or maybe it's like a straight luck roll. Yeah. And if you hit, you crit. And if you don't, um, too bad, and do you have four for the whole campaign? Yeah, I love that. It's like wow. very narratively dramatic too. Um, right. Carl's Mac in the chat did say it's a Nerf gun, and that's very, <laughs> very funny to me. That's, that's funny. funny. So that no, it's a real no, it's a real gun with bullets <laughs> and a sword. <laughs> and he also has a regular. He yeah. just says like regular. You're sword. like son. You you really need a real weapon. <laughs> it's like no. Um, I actually have this gun. There's and it's the voice. Fine. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you should just like give. Me Arr, some have you seen my blunderbuss, matey? Uh, no, this is a gun. Oh, this <laughs> is my real, regular is gun, gun that my uncle Mitch gave me for protection. <laughs> he got it at a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> no one asked him for his ID. They said he had it from <laughs> Nam, no wait which list. I don't understand. They um, also gave him a free hot dog with purchase at the convenience store. <laughs> makes yeah. sense. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, I like this. I think this is really funny. And great. um good No, actually I think he is a good fighter. I think that he just doesn't like to do it because he thinks it's flashy. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous reason I've ever heard. I don't I don't like I'm not the kind of per I like it when my actions speak for themselves and I don't want to do any flashy knock knock swords out of people's hands thing. Um that's not my fighting style okay our matey and then i push you overboard (laughs) but i have a no no and then he takes out his regular gun (laughs) and trains it (laughs) at the captain i will i have four bullets and they work damn does have your name on them now or later up to you i have a sharpie from the real world and i've written your name on this bullet this is a what you call a mutiny i think (laughs) (laughs) I like it. Your when Brandon said it, it's like he didn't know English. How you say mutiny? <laughs> In your parlance, it is a gun. A boom well, they're speaking stick? pirate, so you know. Our uh, okay. Uh, I like being here because every day is talk like a pirate day. <laughs> when you think about it, you remember when Facebook did that? I do the love. It's free. <laughs> I love this idea in the chat from Marcus forty five. He said he keeps he keeps trying to get promoted on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Like I really am just I'm aiming for the top spot. Not captain. <laughs> first mate. I'm going to be CEO of this ship. <laughs> I've talked to HR and HR is the pig they keep under <laughs> No. 
Eric, it's the pirate key. Come on. Jesus <laughs> Christ, come on. He's the HR rep. <laughs> really good the pirate keep the oh, pirate keep the pirate keep <laughs> his name is it and his name is <laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> hr carl's yeah. mac in the chat said he won't get on the ladder because he's quote not here to make lateral moves <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Three but over. Hey, you guys 100... are not allowed to be funnier than us in the chat. That's hey, all. We're rating Carl's Max brain. <laughs> Bye. Uh, fuck. That's so funny. That's really funny. Uh, yeah. So this is so it's Bradley octagonal. Um, Brad. Really good. Uh, Bradley, not Brad. I have a cousin, Brad. So I'm Brad. Are Bradley's Brad in one McGee. family. I'm I'm Bradley. Wow. Um, and he keeps talking about the adventure that he went on when he fell through a, a time portal when he, he yeah. woke up in, what was it, 2006 at Bear uh, Stern? We're all sick of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We yeah. are. And no one Bradley wants to hear, bananas. No one wants to hear about, about Bradley falling through this guy. I do need to make a time portal. I really should. Mm hmm. Well, this has been wonderful, but unfortunately, your characters are as follows Julia, you are a parent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eric, you are a barnacle on the side mm -hmm. of the ship. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> and Amanda, you are, I was going to make you the ship originally. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you're just continually the you ship. You did it. You nailed it. Oh, I'm still the ship, but I don't have a voice. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. okay. 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 So okay. unfortunately, those are your characters. That is what we will be playing. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, incredible. Uh, Brandon, can I give uh -huh. some notes on being a D on being a DM? I, uh, no, you I may not, but you may do it if you do it in a French lobster accent. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh -huh. you need to listen to what the players want. Uh -huh. <laughs> under the sea. Yikes. <laughs> down whether it's better, down where it's wetter, under the sea. <laughs> yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You I'm must raise really very you. good. You know, I'm sorry. Oh, ho, ho. You must wow. raise yourself to the lobster of language, lobster French language. That French language does not come to you. Oh, Brandon, you need to listen to the bully base so that he's uh, able to <laughs> oral the oral tradition of storytelling. Oh. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. if I am a French lobster, I am technically a langoustine. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, I don't know who that is. There's another lobster in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's Janet's like lobster that she's holding. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, there he is. Should I give him a, a little, little beret? Should I give him a little beret? Yeah, give him a yeah. little beret now. Yep. Can oh fuck! A... There are so many berets. Put yeah, a baguette Canva? in his hand, please. Yeah, shout out to Canva. Hold on, I gotta pick which beret I want. Ooh, you can change the shades of gray in his beret. I Damn. Know. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, so with this he looks like he looks like a Black Panther, which is even funnier. Wait, no, oh, he's the no. one on the bottom left, Eric, not that one. Which one? The, the the red one? The bottom the bottom of the corner one. He's the French one. Right? Oh, this guy? What? <laughs> What's happening? Is this Emily in Paris? Who are you? Oh, this guy. Sorry. I thought it was making both of them. Oh, no. Oh, I was oh, saying yeah. that my my uh, lobster was also French. No, I can do both. That's fine. Yeah. That'll be dope. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, we're all on the same page. We all want these lobsters. We to all want these lobsters to be French, guys. If we don't we all put a hat that. on an animal and then argue about where the hat should go. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, oh, have, you, have you watched Emily in Paris on Le Flix? <laughs> no, because I hear it's terrible oh i there actually don't like, drama uh, i don't like that uh dvd subscription service that you are all talking about <laughs> oh bradley what's wrong with it did they pass you over for an internship uh no uh no i chose not to go there i instead worked at um the new york times mm. instead. <laughs> and i'm really so probably good for you i do serious journalism Okay. I met Breitbart in person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have been going for almost an hour. I do think we need to do some plot hooks, too. Yeah, that's fine. That yeah. was great. Are we good? Do we like this? Is yeah, this good we love, I love this. this. this is great. I have no notes. I love this prompt. And I Brandon, this is what we're going to play, right? So we're all mm -hmm. good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, no no planning one. on your part. We're, we're I, set. If I did do a pirate thing, I would call it seven PCs because that's just too good. And then it Incredible. would actually be a oh. one shot about computers on the internet surfing the seven PCs. So I love that Goku's the sun. I love that for us. I need I need Goku to this is like in an anime where Goku's like looming over yeah. it, but he's not there. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, this is good. I'm gonna make this a different color just very quickly. 
Um, but yeah, I think Brandon needs to do a needs to do a plot hook while I, while I figure that out. So chat. Well, if you Eric. have any ideas for if you have any ideas for him, let him know. Yeah, Brandon, chat. I do. I do have one. If you were not ready to go. Oh no, but... I have one. But if you want okay, to go, great. please do. No, no, no. I can wait. Okay. Um, chat. If you have some fun ideas, let me know. But I was at the uh. It's technically a park, but like a park beach um, this weekend for one of my friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. And there were so many good dogs. And all I wanted to do is play a one shot where you are dog and you cool. are dogs and you get up to all these rowdy nonsense. Okay. You steal yes. you steal things from a grill. You dig holes. Oh, hell yeah. You go smimmin. You steal Smith, a blanket. Smimmin? Smimmin. Yeah. Nice. All right, well, so, we first got to start out with a park, right? Of course. Well, it's more actually. like a beach, but yes. A beach. Oh, a beach. You want a beach. Yeah. The vibe's the same. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dog the one beach. I went to was just called a park, but it's really a beach. Okay, how about this? Is this good? Oh, Eric, that's so uh, perfect. And that, dog's so there, and that dog's there? This dog can also be there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can yes. we pick our dogs now in advance? Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, I want to be like a funky little corgi. Okay, corgi. There was a corgi on the beach that we went to this weekend, Julia, that had shorter legs. Oh, that legs, one right there. Thank you. Had shorter legs even than usual. And so when it like <laughs> bounded on the beach, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so, it was so cute. I like yeah. how Brandon, I wasn't sure where you're going. You said shorter legs than usual. And I thought you were going to say shorter legs than you. And I'm like, fucking damn. I'm like, damn. Roasted. I also <laughs> thought that's where that was going. I'm like, damn, Brandon. All right. Damn, roasted. <laughs> Damn. Julia does not have short legs for her stature. That's true. <laughs> They're very uh, appropriately sized. I would never. I would never. Um, I wanted a dog, uh, just a dog that dro that's drooling. Oh, How about that, that, that big boy really in the, good. yeah, the Beethoven. Yeah. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, this lad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit me. Oh, yeah. It Look at all that drool. Dog. Look at all that drool on that door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is oh. that you think that's drool? Oh, damn. Yeah. I thought oh, that was damn. rain. No, that's, no, that's drool. drool. Oh, I hate that. Oh, damn. Oh well, it's gone now. <laughs> yeah, this one shot is called the the good the good boys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is seriously good. The stuff. shine, shine, shine. I think is uh is good. Okay. The good boys. Uh, people are demanding that we put oat cake in this. So Amanda. Oh, that's fine. Right, there yeah, is, I'll be there is an, dog. I'm sure there is an oat cake. Well, do we want a canonical oat cake or do we just want a, a French bulldog? Hey, whatever you want. Hey, what what is the difference? Uh, well, uh, one point. Okay, okay, is my IP. Um, <laughs> sure. so, so you'd have to pay me uh, residuals, <laughs> but as opposed to a different one. I think we want a French bulldog. Okay. Who happens to be named Oatcake? Okay. Yes. Oh, this is cute. Oh yeah, there's Amanda. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. We look found at it. my butt. Classically, my Amanda butt. always look showing at my her butt. butt. <laughs> look at my butt. Look at it. <laughs> That's the dog thing. Look I feel like this that. should have um like mission objectives like Goat Party does. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or Brandon, like, Brandon, what were those dogs trying to accomplish that day? Or like um or or like untitled goose game, how there's a right. list. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah. So I think the overall goal is to just have a good beach day, right? Like yeah. they just want to have a good holiday. But I think, yeah, some of the intermediate goals, right? Like like untitled goose game, like that steal um yeah. Steal a link of hot dogs off the grill. Is that was my yeah. dog. You know, like in um, did you, you guys, I'm sure you got watched the uh, Oliver and Company the movie. Yeah. Oh um, yes. Where all the hot dogs are linked up together, like tied together, like classic yeah. New York hot dogs. Classic shenanigans. Classic shenanigans. Like, um, yeah, very good. Before we get too far, I think um, i Brandon. I'm reading my notes, and it says that this game is GMless. So if you want to be uh, a Doge as well, I think you should choose a Doge as your character. Uh, I do. I would like to be a wee husky. A tiny husky. Tiny uh, husky. Wee husky. Mini husky. I don't know tiny if you guys can hear husky. this. Uh, someone has decided to dig, dig a hole in the middle of the to the middle of the earth next door. So I'm muting myself in and oh, out. Nice. But... <laughs> no, we can't hear it. I, I can't. Yeah, there he is. <gasps> oh, it's a wee husky. Incredible. Okay. Very good. I like to steal a hot dog. Um, dig a deep old hole. Dig a hole so deep you can't see out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah dig a hole. Because they need to dig go meet their friends on the other side of the world. They need to go meet their their Chinese friends or their um. I for, I don't know what's directly underneath the United States. It's I forget. Like Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah, something friends. like that. 
Um, I think one of them should be roll in some uh, questionable something or other. Yes. Um, I just want to say I really what I really liked about Brandon's here's how ruined my brain is is when Brandon said that I'm like oh nice you're trying to capture the vibrant Chinese audience. <laughs> you know, like a Marvel movies like take I'm some not Taiwanese Marvel, flag. Yeah. yeah, Marvel movies and video games take like the Pretty. Taiwanese flag out to like make sure they act they Pretty access broken. the Chinese thing. He's yeah. like, oh nice, Brandon's trying to We're make really this. gonna get approval from the PRC right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to take out the devil on the previous slides though for that to work. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's hey, here's the thing. It's now that you said uh my brain is broken. <laughs> and <laughs> and I just needed to to tell you the cursed uh my cursed nature. Um one Minor. of our first time chatters suggested that we look oh. up Pomsky, which I believe is a mix of a husky and a palm <gasps> It's very cute. I what? do want to see if that's if there's one in there. I will do that. What was the third goal? Uh roll in like some uh questionably smelly substance. Yeah. In questionable substance. Yeah. Yeah. I'll very good. Um, I also think one of the goals should be uh do a musical number. A la also Oregon Company. Why should I worry? Why should I care? I all that's Billy Joel, right? Or is that Bruce Springsteen? I always forget which one it is. I don't know. I think it, I would know about it if it was Billy Joel. But please tell me what you find. Actually, cool. I, I'm pretty sure it's Bruce Springsteen. I'm gonna triple check right. to be. Sure. I gotta look up a Pomsky. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that's a good boy. Amanda, oh, it's oh. hold on, hold on, Amanda. It's Billy Joel. Really? <laughs> Billy Joel plays like the not Oliver, but like the other main dog. Um, Eric, I know we had planned to watch all three John Wick movies for our anniversary, but um, <laughs> uh, we might have to add something to the. Oh yeah, this guy. You? Wow. Yeah. Oh. His name's Dodger. Dodger, yeah, what there. a good boy, Dodger. Pretty was. good. Yeah, this guy's there. He's the leader of the pack, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Dodger like lives at the beach. Oh and he's in God. a New York state of mind. And he's in yes. a New York state of mind, baby. I can't believe. He's dating wow. Alicia Keys. I've heard. <laughs> Dodger? Yeah. Nice. Also, Bette Great. Midler and Cheech Marin are both in that movie, too. Whoa. Wild. I used to love that movie. It's one of my favorite Disney It's a movies. great movie. My mom texted me today. Okay, this is a real, <laughs> the real story. Mm -hmm. My mom texted me. It's the wildest shit. <laughs> Today's text was um, a meme uh from the page killer toys titled released july 10th 1987 uh today's july 14th um the brave little toasters the animated musical film adapted from the 1980 novel by thomas m dish and directed by jerry reese okay so the little meme showing the brave little toaster okay. um mm -hmm. and my mom texted me this image from facebook with hey with four wise do you remember this movie why is your mom hot? Don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I write back, I sure do. It scarred me. I was so upset for all of them. Yeah. yeah. And then she writes back, oh no, comma, poor Amanda, period. <laughs> Please wait. Why is your mom high and passive aggressive? <laughs> Maybe a possible spirits show, dot, dot, dot. And then in quotation marks with spaces in between the quotation marks, what movie scared you as a child? No, oh. mom has never listened to any episode of Spears, but she sure tries. Thank you, mom. That's cute. Uh, well, I think Brave Little Toaster was also like slightly before our time. It was like late eighties. It, it was eighty seven. I think yeah, I got it. Um, I got it as a uh like VHS on sale probably yeah, yeah, that was yeah. like bumping around my parents, my uh, grandma's house. Mm -hmm. Freaking scared Nash. me. Yeah, yeah it's I think a it's scary sad. fucking scared movie. My, it's scared scary my brother too. Sad. Yeah. Don't they like? I, I know they don't go to hell at some point, but like there's some sort of parallel in there where they like kind of go to there's hell. There's a junkyard. They like yeah. they like face their own mortality. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the end of Toy Story three where they're like all ready to die. Mm -hmm. Now, Eric, you did write Barry Monroe in the sand. No, so who's yeah. Monroe? Uh, this is Monroe. He's okay. a big oh, okay. fucking nerd. Big nerd. And he's gonna get sand. buried. In, he's gonna get buried in the sand. Get cool. a pile cool, of cool, sand. Cool, 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 cool. I, I I really like the idea of I. I... <laughs> For a realistic so oddly specific. I know. I really like the idea. You know how in Untitled Goose Game that you have to like trap that child in a phone booth. You do. I feel like there needs to be something like this, but I wanted to be a little, little like more ambiguous. So it's like, oh man, they're burying Monroe in the sand, but then like the tide's coming up, and then we don't address it again. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just gone. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. right after yeah. the Barry Monroe of the Sand, Eric, can you go ahead and just write hydrate on there as one of the girls? Oh, for sure. Oh, good, good, we good. also haven't named all of our dogs, which you probably oh, should that's do. that's a good idea. Yeah, give me one here. Give, that's give, true. Give me one second. I have to change all of their idea. Because... So I, I didn't grow up with pets. Um, and when I was hanging out with my sister earlier this year and her sweet, adorable pit bull, Coda, um, we were at the beach. And at some point, Coda like nosed her bag. And I was like, I don't think there's any treats in there, Coda. And then I look in, there's a water bottle and like a little, you know, keychain with like an expandable bowl for him. And so I took it out and I poured it in and Coda drank it. And I was like, I have ESP. And he's like, what the dog fucking wanted? <laughs> I made this dog's life so much better. You uh, can we're best communicate friends, and... with Coda via thoughts. Yeah. Exactly. That's so we good. are the same. Wow. That's so good. That's pretty good. I'm glad you did that. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't there because I wasn't allowed to go because um, I was told I Coda love didn't Coda invite you. Too, I love Coda too much and mm. I wasn't allowed to go. So. That makes sense. <laughs> well, my dad my dad wanted his girlfriend to go and my brother wanted his girlfriend to go and neither of them wanted each other's girlfriends to go. So no partners went was what actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> and then Amanda got to go. Yeah. And then I went. Yeah. Uh, can I roast your brother on stream? Sure. Yeah, uh, your brother, your brother, when he found out that your dad had a girlfriend, was like, "Well, who is she? Is she like your special friend?" And he's an adult man and said, "Special friends, <laughs> leave him alone." And then no, so I don't. Was, I don't. He thinks blue lives matter. It's yeah, fine. It, it, oh, it, not the brother I'm life. thinking of. Yeah. Oh no, no, no not no, 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 not see no. no, not cease. No. Uh, it Austin. was uh, Austin. Um, and uh, and so then when we met my dad's very lovely girlfriend. Uh, you mean his Eric's, special friend? His Eric special said, friend. it's so great to meet Brian's special friend. And she laughed and laughed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes, makes sense. I said before, and I mean this in, the, in truly the best possible way, as I'm someone who has watched these episodes multiple times, your dad's girlfriend has such Lorelai Gilmore energy. Yes. It's so great. I can't really wait good. to meet her. I love that. She's That's great. great. She's great. Noreen God, I cannot imagine Lore Lorelai Gilmore with your dad, though. <laughs> It's a real odd couple situation, but it's, really it's good funny. for him. It's good for him. Um, so, what are some other objectives for these doggos to do? Oh, let's come up. Wait, let's come up with their names. Oh, okay. uh, my corgi's name is Croissant. Oh, Julia. Oh. Fuck. That's really good. Yeah, because like his little fur is like a little croissant, croissant, and he's probably shaped like a little croissant too. Nothing behind the eyes, just like a pastry. Yeah. Croissant. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Quizant. Oh, I, because it's French. Qua. Qua. Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> That's it. Great. I nailed it. it. I got it. Croissant. The fact that you a... have an umlaut memorized on the keyboard is just hilarious to me. No, I just know what to hold that. If Brandon, I learned that this trick be... from you the other stream the other day. Yeah. Brandon, that would be fucked up if I had the umlauts <laughs> memorized. You that's, do. You, that's I mean, the keystroke. You have the keystroke memorized. You you hold it down and then you look at the you look at the thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Gotcha, I didn't know gotcha, that. Gotcha. You just hold the two down on a Mac or whatever, and then it pops up, and I'm like, what? Um, when I worked in finance, I had the keystrokes memorized for like the the pound, the euro, the yen, and like the peso. You fucking yeah. nerd. Yes. What a Amanda, nerd. what's your dog's name? Nerd. My dog's name is Oat Cake with an umlaut over every vowel. Okay. <laughs> okay <give laughs> Get ready. Second. Mine's is uh, okay with an umlaut over every consonant. That, that's, Can I get one of those? Right. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, that's and then a T. No, no, no. Like O. Oh, you have the O oh sound. Oh, All I right. thought you wanted. No, you said every vowel. Oh. We're doing yeah, every, every vowel. vowel. <laughs> All right, baby. It's kick. Oh, kick. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, cursed. That's cursed. her. Really that's cursed. her government name. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if there's a different one because I really like them. Um, oh, got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. okay. Very good girl. Yeah. All right, um, Eric, your dog. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to go with Chester. Yeah. yeah. He looks okay. like a Chester. It's Chester. We um passed a sweet street cat the other day, and Eric goes, that's, that's a Chester right there. And I'm like, Eric, you saw into the cat's soul. That's exactly yeah. what that cat is named. I also <laughs> want to clarify that this was a, a cat. I mean, it was not. Out, it was an outdoor cat, but not feral. In yes. that we were there, and he was laying down, and there was a sign next door that said like Greenpoint Cat Gang, <laughs> and we had to follow them on Instagram. Apparently, yep. so K Chester was taken care of. Yeah. But Chester was not a happy cat. He was a mean cat. He yeah. had it in his he eyes. He was self. He was good as he was. He was yeah, self actual. He did need us. Yeah. yeah, that's some yeah. kind of like Team Rocket shit that you saw. <laughs> yeah, we did. So Chester. Um... Then Brandon, 
real story. We went back the following day with Eric's mom to be like, oh, we saw a cat on the film. Maybe we'll see it again. Who hates cats, by the way? Uh, we turned back. Uh, Chester's got two friends. Chester's got bodyguards. Chester was laying there with two bodyguards who looked just as mean as he was. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the entire cat gang. Chester's a gang was, member. That yeah. was the gang. Yep. He lead, Chester leads the gang. Oh, hey, wait. Hold on. No. I Go ahead, Brandon. Well, I was just going to say, earlier, Eric, you said this cat was not feral, and I'm going to uh, disagree with you on that. <laughs> oh, like emotionally, not like clinically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so famously, I am a big fan of Blue Jays, and we uh, like put out uh, peanuts for them in the backyard. Yeah, and we have discovered that there's actually like two, uh, like warring, uh, warring Blue Jays in our backyard, right? <laughs> oh no! And oh, God. Jake and I have a um, a running joke that Blue Jays are kind of like little like mobsters like little gangsters where like they'll like step up on people who are in their territory would be like I, th I thought i told you not to come around here no more those are my peanuts um uh, and we do little voices for them and stuff but anyway so we've now named the two warring blue jays one is smaller so his name is little Vinny, and the other one's bigger so his name is fat tony Yay! yeah and then um there's also a uh i'm just looking at that but dad butt. Um, <laughs> there's also a squirrel that comes in our backyard and eats the peanuts when the blue jays aren't around who jake Aww. has uh named polly walnuts after the uh pretty good the sopranos character so yeah. very good yeah do that's my birds, life right now is that a mm -hmm. thing do birds just like love peanuts or something i've had peanuts on my rooftop recently and yeah it must cor be the, corvids, the corvids like crows and stuff really love peanuts Really? interesting yeah. they just like they'll, like they'll... breaking them and opening them up and eating them yeah they'll pick them up and then they fly them into the tree and then they slam them against the branch and then they can get to the peanuts inside. god i fucking love yeah. corvids they're so cool yeah. they're so yeah. smart i really yeah. love um that uh, that bird that was in um high school musical it was a raven mm -hmm. yeah 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 i can't think of literally anyone who was in high school musical <laughs> oh you know yeah uh corvid blue yeah what's what's her name I, in my in my brain i was like blue Corbin, is that? His I was name? like, yeah, there it is. my brain said, Ashley Tisdale. <laughs> Ashley Tisdale, thank you. That's a joke I was gonna make, Amanda. It's <laughs> not a joke, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> my brain just went. Ashley Tisdale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can roll one draw. You can roll one die for drawing point. <laughs> yes. Um, Julia, if you have a better name for my friend, let me know because you're better at names. But I was thinking, Bucket. Sure. Oh. What were you I thinking? I love that for him. No, that's great. Okay. Uh, it's a dog, oh, Brandon. Boy. Live your truth. Bucket. I like Bucket. I was asking Eric recently if um if it would be funny if a little puppy dog was named Chicken Cutlet. Uh, it would be. That would be it would be, it would be funny. That's Chicken. true. Oh. And then Amanda's like, what about Cutlet? <laughs> and I'm like, I guess. Oh, cut, Cutty, Chicken. Chicken Cutlet. Oh, uh, oh, cutlet. oh. Someone was telling me at the beach that they had a friend who's in the apartment building or something that they live in, they have a corgi who's, uh, they were, they were outside with their dog walking them and they saw the person with the leash. Uh, but the mm -hmm. dog was behind the, uh, bushes, like the little like ferns oh. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so he, he was watching them and he watched the owner be like, all right, come here, jetpack. And then you see this little <gasps> corgi come. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's just a car car. Oh, it's just it's just the fucking perfect name for a corgi of all time. That sounds like a prank, it like does. a prank name. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. loved it. It's so good. Jetpack so the corgi. Yeah. Also, also, a hold on, a tease for tomorrow's uh, party planning, and also like um, so people can go get it. But I asked Amanda and Eric a question about like if they had a pet, what they would name it, and they both answered it. Again exactly the same time with the exact same name and i'm like guys guys <laughs> it was a good name too so you want to like w watch or listen to that party planning to hear the incredible name that they they picked very for. good Julia. it was brandon you could just spoil it it was brandon it was brandon has <laughs> got me it was it was brandon. Brandon. that would be such that is a legitimately a question i could see on ask a manager like my manager adopted a pet and named it my name and i feel really weird about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do i feel about that and it's like yeah. the office dog too so like right. what do i do what do i do yeah. you're like oh man well, shit on the rug i'm like oh, damn God. it amanda <laughs> why do you keep shit on the rug you, you adopted a puppy not even a rescue you chose their name like what <laughs> actually um i actually need to go back and fix something that was in the pirate uh that was in the pirate okay. game oh uh -oh. sure uh the uh -oh. character i really wanted to play um 
it. <laughs> Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> Actually, this is who I really wanted to play. So um, it's it's Eric, Brandon from five years ago. Eric, <laughs> you who you wanted to play, Eric, was Brandon with more hair is what you wanted yeah. to play. <laughs> Brandon, you really you have an equal mass of hair. The place is just the place is just in the beard. It's moved around. <laughs> You're doing great. You gotta match the hat. Thank you. Thank God, you. that was a good photo of me though. Let's Great photo of you. <laughs> Every person, I'm like, damn, that's good, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> but Brandon, now you're a Black Panther. Congratulations. Oh no. you, Now you're Huey Newton. Oh no. Oh no. I don't what? think I would what? be what? Part of what? The what? What? <laughs> what? 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 Okay. So, so I think shit. the good boys are good. So yeah. the good boys, to summarize, are a uh, one-shot RPG, a la the Goat Party, where their their overall goal is to have a good beach day together. And they have many sub goals. And... I uh, I just thought of another one. I'm sorry. Yeah, hit it, uh, hit it. One of them should be like accidentally knock a child over while running. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then when should be catch a crib? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eric, for no knowing what <laughs> I meant. <laughs> um, and each of your dogs have uh like special skills. You know, like maybe. Yeah. One's good yes. at licks. The other one's good at digging. The other one's yeah. good at catching. Yeah, like fetch. Um, and so, yeah, you, uh, I, can, I, I would play, looks. I would play the shit out of this one shot. Yeah. I love this. What a beautiful inspiration. I love him. Um, sorry. I had to write in the, I had to write in the yeah. crit on licks. Adorable yeah. butt. Adorable butt. Yeah. Distracting do, dog. She'll do something wrong and then she'll look at you just like that and then shake your little butt and then you're like, I can't stay mad at yeah, you. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah. Can't ever get in trouble. Okay. Man to pronounce it right, please. <laughs> Or keck. <laughs> Drools his acid. Yes, excellent. Yeah. yeah. Great. Sorry, my character's OP. Uh, Brandon didn't give me any parameters. So. <laughs> and what's Bucket good at? Bucket's Peace good at digging. Self. Wow, rude. Bucket is was, good at I digging. Was, I was going to say makes people cry. God damn it, Eric. Because <laughs> he looks so sad there. But also like You know how you see a sad animal and you yourself turn sad? That's what he that's what he's good at. Chrissy yeah. Mac in the cheer says, BRB while I go join the $150 level Patreon tier to be able to do this one shot with y'all. <laughs> there you go. We'll play Dig it, baby. Diggin. 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 I'm glad that we did all of the... I'm glad that we did all of the... Um, we wrote down all of the the possible goals we can do. Yeah. Um, do I we know. have an idea about which one uh, which one we did already? Are you gonna like strike through? Um, yeah. Like, do we, is there any that we already completed? I mean, well, we, we definitely Monroe. already completed a musical number like yeah. on oh, screen, yeah. and we that also be, buried buried be Monroe best. in the sand. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh, da, yeah. da, da. Julia, I love when that happens. When like. Um, this happened in uh in elementary my favorite procedural ones where they're in gala clothes and the episode begins after the gala and i'm like oh you just couldn't afford a gala on screen yeah <laughs> and it. that is that is makes indeed sense. what happened <laughs> makes sense i just want to give me a strike through guys you try strike through i'm embarrassed uh, yeah it wasn't good what about red, you're embarrassing what about red me in front of my friends i want to like a draw i want to like a draw of mine you got it bud oh there's one right here pretty good Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Not bucket. Bucket. Not bu bucket is fucking good. Bucket. Hey. <laughs> Back off, <laughs> Bucket. Really. Hey, Bucket didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We buried Monroe in the sand. Okay. That's true. Right after this, I just need to come up with something, and I know. Please just come with me. Oh, we're, what did we do? Oh, we did, we did the musical number. We did the musical number. This is unrelated to anything, but this is more wild than anything we have going on in the stream. Uh, the Loveford in chat just said that early in the stream they said they had a pest guy on their roof, and they just updated to say that they have bats. <laughs> oh, bats are good. Well, I know what I'm doing for mine now. Bats. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So is this like an NPC that we're making? Why are you so <laughs> Why are you so mad at buckets? What did bucket do to you? Another he's not responsible for war crimes. I just want to be really Why do you clear. keep asking whether or not he's responsible for war crimes? It says right there he's not responsible for war crimes. He was not involved in 9/11 at all. Nothing. Stop asking. Bucket. He's never been to Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> God. Damn. 
Guys, Bucket is pure and clean and likes to dig. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's Mac in chat said Bucket's last name is not Bush. <laughs> Stop asking. Stop. He did not do any coups. <laughs> Damn. Can yeah. you go ahead and put that feeling cute on there too? Just for Bucket. Yeah. Thank you. That's an excellent addition. In international coups, right? <laughs> Not associated with the CIA. Stop. <laughs> Marcus45 said slash threatened in chat. Gonna get that as a tattoo. <laughs> Do it. Not responsible for war crimes. Bam. All of the Join the Party tattoos have been excellent so far. Just gotta keep it going. I just, I, uh, I just need one that just says, stop asking. <laughs> Don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just the first thing that came to my head. Was like, Bucket did not do 9/11. Is the first thing that I thought. That's funny, are you okay? I think it's funny. It's a funny <laughs> thing to say. It is fun. I oh. think you need to have more misspellings in here, though. It's because if it's Bucket's saying these things, we just oh, throw right, like some yeah. paw prints all over <laughs> yeah. the place too. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 uh, coops. Coops. Very good. There we go. <laughs> I like the one that just says love. God, this is really funny. That's really good. Um, Casey suggests that stop asking be in italics. Yeah. Because it's really being emphasized. Yeah. yeah <laughs> asking. Stop good asking. addition. Good addition. Stop. Um, we got a uh, Ralt in the chat, and a couple of people are asking what it feels like to, when people get a tattoo of our work, and uh, it's cool. Weird. It's cool as it's shit. Weird. It's, it's cool. Weird. When I see people get tattoos of other creators' work, I'm just like, Ooh, I hope they don't turn out bad. But uh, we're not gonna turn out bad, so you're, you're good. <laughs> you can't I promise mean, that. No, you it's, never it's know. incredibly. It's incredibly. Um, <laughs> I might have to adopt Bucket at some point, though, and I don't know if he'll do international war crimes. So yeah, yeah. Stop, Stop asking. asking. Stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's cool. It's really cool, especially ones you weren't. We weren't. Uh, I mean, you're never expecting it, but it's really like all of a sudden you like go on the Discord or you see a tweet, and it's like, wow, that's on your skin. I you didn't even warn me beforehand. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I know how much really the things cool. that I get tattoos of mean to me, and uh, it's lovely. Yeah, it's amazing. God, yeah. Kazzy in the chat also said, new Patreon goal, Brando adopts a husky puppy. <laughs> <laughs> how would the coffee ghost feel about that? Um, feel great about it. I husky. Yeah. I've wanted a husky since I was about mm, three, Aww. and they shed so much. They, they <laughs> are like... You need to like constantly keep them active too, yeah. otherwise they like get up to shenanigans because they're like yeah. really smart. Yep. So they'll just but like I destroy your house them. if you don't keep them like exercising. But yeah. Julia, I love them and they're not I responsible know, they're very for cute. war crimes. But you like literally when the seasons change, you have to get a <laughs> vacuum and vacuum their extra hair up. But they're yeah. not the CIA. Their but don't stop asking. Stop asking. <laughs> Not responsible for war crimes. Stop. I have this t-shirt that says not responsible for war crimes. And yes. you please refer to the shirt. The love friend says that they love to Huskies love to sing too. I know. I want to sing That's with true. them. I want to oh, I'm this sure all of like... your neighbors would love that. Yes, yeah. I know. I feel like you need to do <laughs> Sorry, Sarah Barron's chat said just came back from the gym and there was a dog covered in text. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. <laughs> That's right, Sarah. Um, this dog like... has nothing in common with George W. Bush, our 42nd president. Why would you ask? No. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. If people keep asking. Sorry, I really wanted to say that. <laughs> no, that's very funny. No, I'm, I'm Does not know you. Jeb Bush. Jeb W. Bush. No one knows Jeb no Bush. One knows, no one knows Jeb w. Bush. <laughs> he can't laugh like because of his paws. That was his yeah. whole problem, is that no one knew who he was. <laughs> oh, God. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. It's like you need to put up with a lot to have a dog like a wolf. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. It's like it's a real trade off. It's like, yes, it's I have like a magical being. And on the other hand, um, it will see it will shed and it will cut get up to shit and it will uh, it will eat young children. Yaw, howl the eyes look into your soul. It will howl at all hours of the evening. And uh, but it's worth it because I have a wolf as a pet. 
Yeah. yeah. yeah I had, actually that's... had a friend growing up who had a um, like first generation wolf dog. Like, yeah. Um, and they, it was huge. And no one was allowed to go near that thing. <laughs> yep. Damn. <laughs> Checks out. Makes sense. It's like, oh, we fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> we did. Uh, uh, there's a dog in our neighborhood that's like, very big and looks wolfish. I'm sure, you know, it's like eight generations removed. It's not like actually wolfish, but it is huge and uh, looks just like a wolf. And every time I see him, I love him. But I see him all the time because his owners are constantly walking him. <laughs> and I'm like, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I, that's what's kind of good, though. Like, ever since I left New York, like, I definitely gained some pounds because I'm not walking as much, you know. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think having a dog would, would make me go walk, which is nice. Brandon, selfishly, I want you to get a dog very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not allowed to have one in our current apartment. So our two roadblocks ah. are we'd have to convince our landlord. And two, um, we don't want to pay for, like, boarding when we yeah. have to travel. Go away. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Brandon, there's this uh, puppy that's up for adoption. Real quick caveat. Does only ones? likes red food. Other caveat. Did not. Do war crimes. <laughs> free though. Yeah. No, no fee. But free. Say, <laughs> no fee. No, no, no fee. fee. Oh, that's fucking funny. Um That's good. This is good right, we... I, I, in the in the Slack, I'm gonna send you a tweet. Okay. And I think this should be the prompt for our next uh our next one. You can also open it on my computer if um if easier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to open. I'm gonna have to open it on Amanda. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I need to see what it is. Is it? Is it here? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Let's check it out. Oh, it that's something I would do. Perfect. <laughs> okay, here we go. Read it. Read it oh, for the Maddie people. Lipchansky. All right. Amazing local bullshit. This is from Matty Lipchansky. Uh, an acrimonious split from his business partner. The former pizza maker of Bellucci Pizzas has opened Bellucci's Pizzeria. His, oh, Pizzer, yeah. Pizzeria? Yeah. No, it, I think they, they just spelled it wrong. They just misspelled it. Oh, okay. Don't be. Oh, my God. Holy shit. All right. Let's look at this. Let's look at this thing a little bit closer. Oh, it's in Astoria. Oh, yeah. it's, it was close to where I used to live. <laughs> Maddie um, is married to Jaya Saxena, the, um, the almost spirits guest, but excellent writer and uh, union organizer. Um, she writes for Eater and other places. Mm. And Maddie draws the art for Flash Forward, as well as ah. just a number of like very uh, interesting comics. Uh, but yes, they live uh, they live right between where you and I used to live in Astoria. I love that. Julia, was this going to be your, this was No, your I had a different idea. And then I saw that I, and I pivoted. Incredible. <laughs> Wait, so I want to know going to be like, was. oh, a cozy little, uh, it's raining in the tavern. Here's what you guys do. You know, that <laughs> uh, kind of bullshit, thing. Bullshit, Julia. Bullshit. No. This is what I need to talk about now. <laughs> all right. I think we should all go around and everyone should say, point out something that they like about it. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bellucci's stuff on the back, like the, the pattern, mm -hmm. in that it's like, you know how they put patterns on money? To make sure no one can counterfeit uh -huh. it. Watermarks, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like counterfeit this partner. Fuck you. Um, so that's my favorite part. My favorite part of it is that the picture of what I assume is Bellucci at the bottom there mm -hmm. um, looks like it's the photo that he uses for his face ID to open his phone up. <laughs> yeah, it does. My favorite yeah, thing is I I just scanned the QR code and it does actually go to Bellucci's. <gasps> Yay! Yes, that's a good one. My favorite it's, thing. Wait, wait, hold is on. That... <laughs> Sorry, oh. the log line on this website is the only pizzeria in NYC with Andrew Bellucci making the pies. <laughs> Fuck, oh, Brandon, yes. is that's Fuck, my favorite yes. part of this box. Oh my god! Fuck, yes. <laughs> Let me, Brandon, say that again. The only pizzeria. The only pizzeria in NYC with under underlined and bolded in red. Andrew Bellucci making the pies. Oh my god. God, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. Oh. It I'm made so this happy is right just now, like guys. the hobby drama subreddit where I am so happy to learn about drama from other people's communities and this thrills me. I could not be more thrilled. Oh man, that's really good. So what what would Julia, what were you thinking? <laughs> re re What this. was I thinking? Yeah. Um I was my initial my initial thought was anything that 
telegraphs the self uh like itself so much where it's like don't be fooled this is the real shit this is it it's probably a mimic right <laughs> <laughs> or it's like face shit where it's like you know you walk into what you think is the original baluchis and then you like the guy turns around and he's just like doesn't move and he looks like a robot and he's like welcome yeah. to the real baluchis pizzeria he his face is like one pepperoni yeah one pepperonis yeah yeah I just need to. I need to come yeah, down. Right. <laughs> don't be fooled. Oh, no. Really, he looks like his paint ID. <laughs> it looks like he's about to. He's saying like, "Oh, I got a text." Uh. <laughs> I don't want to like, be a downer here, but can we just talk about Amanda just said pepperonis? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be a downer. I think that's uh, acknowledging some fundamental truths about Amanda. No, I, 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 I knew what Amanda was saying. I'm, I'm no, I, I understand. It. I just. Uh, I. I just have to digest it <laughs> and think about it um these pizzas look so nasty like a pizza pie yeah those are so really bad so maybe because you wrote pizza because pie, it's not andrew bellucci no making the pie eric <laughs> there's only one place in new york city with oh. andrew bellucci making the pies yes, amanda? Yes, amanda yes amanda um can we have a black light and all the pizzas um are watermarked they're like tattooed <laughs> with a UV light. Amanda. <laughs> on the on the butt, on the bottom of the crust, You're on the top. You're such a genius. Is it his Thank face? You. Yes, it's his face. I really like the idea of oh he you know, of that they're on. It's on every pizza. It's on every slice. Guys, Eric, I just want to... everyone okay. in the chat who's still here an hour and a half in and everyone is, is <laughs> I'm getting so sorry. The, the, no, they're getting the good shit. And I'm so sorry for everyone who has who has decided this is not this is too long for them but this is the good shit so thank Guys, you for sticking around listening to the podcast is like going to a restaurant on a friday stick with me here yeah no i, I know what <laughs> you're go on gonna, i know what you're gonna say they're warmed up they're they're in their prime they're ready they're, for they're, they're ready, for, ready for, the for the day ready for the rush they've been on their knees all their food is in and inventory they have all the specials all portioned out for the they're ready to fucking go you're meeting them exactly when they're like hey bring on the health department bring on the food review um bring on <laughs> jaya saxena with uh with eater like bring it they are ready Watching the stream is like stumbling into a restaurant at 4 p.m. on a Tuesday. The entire, the entire crew hungover. It's their Monday. Uh, they've been out all all Sunday and Monday partying. Uh, the food barely there. You might be getting meat today. You might not. Uh, the special is whatever the fuck. And um, honestly, guys, that's the real. That's the realness. That's the raw. That's the unfiltered uh, restaurant experience. That's it's a good the restaurant. Shit not not with all of their tips and tricks and tools and bells and whistles but just some guy sweating into carbonara um, <laughs> that's the stream what is happening with andrew belucci sweating into carbonara don't change it it's perfect don't change perfect. it guys there's never been a more new york image than this right here i like this i thought it'd be funny if you went into like if you were in a fantasy setting and you went into a pizzeria and this was the issue yeah the I only pizzeria in elderwood with asterox the undying making the pies do not be fooled <laughs> yeah julia knows where i'm mean. julia yeah, knows where i'm yeah. Julia, you're doing a real JPC in uh, uh, parentheses approving. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carl's Mack in the chat said uh, in in uh, yes, and in your uh, uh, mm -hmm. story, Amanda, the servers. This is like the service sitting you in the booth with you to take your order. Yeah, <laughs> the server sits down. <laughs> the <server> sits down. <laughs> grabs the breadstick. Oh, I gotta take a load off. Oh. Hey, I'm Kyle. I'm fucking hungover. What do you want? <laughs> hey, hey guys, you're probably gonna be my last table before I quit. Let's, see it. Let's do this. Hey, what's I don't up? want shots. I want shots. Guys, I am coming down off of a sweet high right now. What do you want? Uh, Eric, can you real quick, uh, on top of the don't be fooled, can you say foolish mortals, comma, do not be fooled? Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's good. good. That's good. Very How about, good. Can I go with silly humans? Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I also want to keep the capitalization. Yeah. Secondhand candy. Thank you for using your first time chat to say as first time watcher, first time listener. So true. <laughs> yeah. Correct. This is good. Oh, oh, guys. Julia, um, this was such a rich prompt. Thank you. Uh, thank the internet. Uh, yes, there should be garlic knots. I like. Okay. <laughs> garlic knots. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Eric. Yep. Eric. 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 Listen yeah. to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah. 
so garlic knots Mm -hmm. holding down asterix the undying he has been freed so now he has created his own pizzeria do not be fooled foolish mortals i have i have awoken from my slumber i have broken through the garlic knots and i have created my own pizzeria i like that flawless i'm I'm trying to put these in a basket (laughs) yes put that shit in a fucking basket yeah Yeah. a tisket a tasket no, put what? Put Wait, I got all three? What? <laughs> you with me. That God. was unexpected. That was really unexpected. Thanks, Canva. Canva's always surprising me. You know, like a good relationship five years in. <laughs> she keeps surprising you. Yeah, each exactly. Other. And that's just like my relationship with Canva, uh, which I'm sponsored by. <laughs> God, I wish you could give y'all a discount code. Yeah, I know. One wink, day, maybe. Wink. And they just like uh, throw some, some cloves of garlic in there. Mm-hmm. And oh, then, yeah, uh, sure. and then, like maybe a demon <laughs> breaking yeah, free. Sure. Yeah, That'd maybe cool. that Christian devil from before. Oh yeah, I love it. I feel like Astrox the Undying is coded masculine, but like, mm. I sure <laughs> why not? Why Jesus not? Christ, <laughs> is this good uh, okay? <laughs> well, well Eric, me. Eric, yeah, you have the face right there. You got to put it on. This one? No, the no, the it. one on the pizza. <laughs> there we go oh shit that's pretty good yes he's broken free of oh, the garlic fuck, nuts man. yeah put garlic in there and then we, we've got the whole joke yeah someone's got, to, <laughs> someone's got once we're done someone's got to clip this and send it to maddie lubchansky at lubchansky on twitter uh they're great and i hope they enjoy the shit we've wrought incredible yeah. eric yeah. flawless Flawless. Listen, no one knows more about Hellfire than me, a guy going to Christian hell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a long garlic. What's going on here? It's, this it's... garlic is getting boiled? I guess. Oh, like, Why? Why would you do that? Why? It, I do that. Maybe, maybe it's an oil. Yeah. Maybe it's oil. It I did not look like oil, oil Julia. Oh, Eric, there is an extremely cute one just diagonal from the one that you <gasps> Oh, selected. he's just a baby. He's like a bow. He's a little baby garlic. Oh, oh no, he's no. going to get eaten. Oh, no. <laughs> Until later, uh, Janet the witch wakes <laughs> him up in your stomach. <laughs> what, what was your character's name, Julia? Uh, it was Janet. It was Janet, Janet Weatherby. Weatherby. Janet Weatherby. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe you killed our baby garlic, Eric. <laughs> yeah, well, you know that wasn't me; it was Asterox. So, yeah, and yeah, also, Astrox, Cri- and also the Christian uh, demon. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. baby, I feel I, like I'm like <laughs> coming. I, I like that server in Amanda's analogy. I feel like I'm coming down from a high, <laughs> <laughs> sitting down oh. in the booth with us. A sitting down in the booth is so funny. I don't know why I find it so deeply funny. Um, chat, you've been too funny today, and we really have to have a business meeting about how uh, you've been fucking funny today. Yeah, right? you guys, are you guys confusing subs and jokes again? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, it is July, uh, and uh, if you or someone in your household has Amazon, make sure you allocate that Prime sub. Go into your settings, connect your accounts, give that that Prime sub, hit that sub button, and it'll give you an option to use your Prime sub. What, are you saying that we haven't earned it today. <laughs> the fuck we, we are dancing for our money, people. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good. This is really good. I don't know how to improve it anymore. I I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Okay, I don't think can, we can. Can I try one thing? And okay. it's going to be terrible for a second. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> sure enough. Okay. 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 Eric, I'm with you on this, but I can't be with you for very long. No, it's fine. No, see, I wanted. That's fine. I wanted it. No, that's actually what I wanted. Okay. When it's the background. It's the back. You know. This like, looks like. Toilet. This looks like the pizza version of mm-hmm. making a murderer. <laughs> can yeah. you? Can you color him to make him look a little bit more demonic? And then yeah, we're sure. all we're uh-huh. all on board here. Uh huh. Yeah. Come on, Canva. Come on, Canva. You I got, baby. You. I know we're pushing you to your limit. Babe. babe. No, that's there. It's there. <laughs> babe. We're good. Yeah. Good. Oh. All right. Cool. Oh goodness. Cool. All right. Uh, so oh, let's see. What do they? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's good. Oh, only only oh, people boy. who stuck with us know it's all the Oh boy. Yeah, oh go. boy. That's good. Oh, oh, I like it. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Marcus in the chat said making a marinara. Fuck you, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> hey Marcus? 
Marcus? Fuck off. <laughs> Marcus, good job. Thank uh, you for Carl's your Carl's Mac followed up with, I'll be having uh, night, night marinaros. <laughs> mm, very good. God damn it, okay. guys. Guys, Calm down. when we said when we said bits, we meant the currency <laughs> on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. That's what we meant. I mean, I can also be paid in bits. Like, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Well, you guys have been paying me in bits uh since the beginning of Join the Party. That's Are true. we not all doing yeah, that? That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's not taxable. That's the ultimate scam. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Can't Are tax we... a bit. Can't, can't tax a bit. Can't tax a ball. Can't Woo! put a rainbow in a box. Can't tax oh. a bit. Guys, I have nothing more to add. Yeah. Are right. we, well, are we feeling tapped? I don't think it gets any better than this. Yeah, that's for sure. I, Brandon, I feel like I had a perfect pizza pie, and I have nothing more to say. <laughs> what did you put on your pep, on your perfect pizza pie? What would I put on? Yeah, what's the topping that you would put on there? Um, I almost said Neptune. I've been listening to a lot of Hey Riddle Riddle. <laughs> um, I like a white pie with like really good olive oil, herbs, um, and maybe Eric, sky space. Eric understood what I was trying to get at. <laughs> pie, uh, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Um, but Brandon, I would I would put pepperoni on a pie. But okay. if it was like two in the morning and I needed uh -huh. a little snack on my way back to bed, I would uh -huh. have a single pepperoni. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Got there. Yeah, it, God, is, it didn't have enough pepperoni on it, so that's why it I sounds like Thank a you. crime. <laughs> Pepper, pepperoni. Yeah, that's when you steal. That's when you steal like a boat and go into international waters. Pepperoni sounds like a like Roman senator who is condemned to death. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I played pepperoni when my high school did Julius Caesar. Guys, I already yeah. talked about this. Pepperoni stabbed Mercutio. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperonis killed Polonius with an asp. <laughs> Pepperonis discovered Ophelia's body. Oh my god. Pepperonis crowned uh, uh Duncan king of uh the Britons. Yeah. I Pepperonis was not by woman born. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pepperonis love with herself. I just Pepperonis wanna... five foot tall. Body cake. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, I just Pepper want to... tamed the shrew. <laughs> I just want to point out that uh, for us telling Marcus "fuck you" and "fuck off," Marcus gave us a hundred bits. So. Yay! <laughs> we did. <laughs> Marcus, you're the real MVP. There you go, Marcus. Cat uh, Rose did ask everyone what our perfect pie is, and Amanda, you like started to answer. So oh, yeah, okay. I, I love a white pie these days. A vegan one. I had one that was very close to perfect at Polly G's the other day here in mm, Brooklyn. That one was really, um, good. It's really good. I'm allergic. To, I mean, and garlic, as you all know. Um, and their tomato sauce is just tomatoes, and so it's perfect because I can get a vegan pie and be my, my tongue is happy. It's really funny on their on their um like menu is like either their the the list of ingredients in the pizza will have italian tomatoes or not and that's how you know whether or not there's sauce on it because yeah, it's literally yeah. just italian tomato the server came over and he's like if it doesn't say tomato it's a white pie and i was like thank you <laughs> like i love this i agree i agree I me too that's what that's what i do for my sauce too you just you just gotta do straight up crushed tomatoes and salt that's yeah. what you yeah. gotta do baby. that's cool i like that how about you Randon? what's your fave i know you're, my... you're a pizza man Yes, I am a pizza god. Uh, thank you for recognizing my status among the uh, Olympic uh, tribunals, what I wanted to say, but that's not right. <laughs> um, I enjoy a spicy pepperoni, so it's like pepperoni, um, like hot honey or some kind of pickled chili or some kind yeah. of like something spicy on there with pepperoni and like mm. ricotta and pesto is also really good when you add that on there. There was a, mm -hmm. um, a place in LA called Prime Pizza that like LA pizza's trash. Everything sucks, right? Prime pizza was better than fucking some pizza in New York that I've had. Like it was incredible. Wow, really? And they wow. had like a spicy pep that was like Calabre and chili, pepperoni, ricotta and pesto, and it was so fucking good. Mm. I love yeah. it. What Julia? About you, Julia? Um, mine is actually very similar, Brandon, where I like a spicy pepperoni with hot honey. Um, I also like to add arugula on top, and then I'm, like, mm. good to go. Nice. Either that or, like, throw basil on at the very end of the yeah. baking process so it gets, like, a little bit curled and crispy, mm -hmm. and then it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not good it. shit. I got, um, <clears throat> I got some arugula in my CSA box this week, so I'm making some uh, arugula Ooh, and uh, prosciutto nice. pizza. I love arugula. It's so good. Yeah, the the one I got was like 
two or three kinds of vegan cheese, including a vegan ricotta that was really good, like a cashew based wow. mm-hmm. um, ricotta, uh, tomato, arugula, and like good olive oil, and a little bit of like vegan uh, sausage crumble. It was really good. Nice, nice. Oh, man. Um, Eric, everyone thinks that you've been watching documentaries, so you should probably stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The algorithm on YouTube really got a tight hold of Eric. Hey, guys, first of all, jet fuel does not melt steel beads. Everyone <laughs> knows that. <laughs> <laughs> um sorry i got distracted by doing that i just thought that was a funny thing to it do. Was. um i actually really like broccoli pizza it's the one that i would choose if i need to do it i also really like onions and peppers uh mushrooms are terrible and the worst i fucking hate mushrooms um but what i actually really like is the weird pizzas you would get in new york city like i love a barbecue chicken pizza i love like a chicken cutlet pizza i think that like uh even like a pasta pizza like the one that has like penne, penne on it going, yeah. is really fun i think that those are fun so i actually like I, I i'm not super precious about pizza um i'll eat whatever as long as it doesn't have mushrooms on it um i also this is also just like hard for me because i didn't eat like non-kosher food until i was in college so or i didn't like seek it out so like pork is still very weird the taste of pork to me mm. And because I didn't grow up eating bacon and pepperoni, I'm not super about it. So I like sausage a lot more. So I would mm. usually I would probably take a sausage pizza. However, like a spicy pepperoni with hot honey is like fucking incredible. Putting hot honey on pizza is amazing. Putting hot sauce on pizza is amazing. Mm. Like I'm just and or even like dipping it in ranch or dipping it in blue cheese is really fun. All that stuff. Like I'm not super precious about pizza, so um, I'll have whatever. Yeah. Um. Uh. Beef sausage or pork sausage. Pork sausage, no, like oh, now okay. I eat pork, but like God. no, yeah, I like no, yeah. I, like I get I get sausage egg and cheeses, like I don't get it, bacon egg and cheeses, okay. you know. So yeah. that's like my just like I have just a, a different and you relationship ate, like, turkey to pork sausage and turkey bacon for a long I've, time. I've too. had I've had yeah. that before. It's just like the taste of pork is still odd to me, much like, like if, seafood. If, like whenever we make pork at home, if it's like ground pork and meatballs or like a pork, you know, loin, I will be like, is that is that right is that how it's supposed to be yeah. and i'm like it, it is <laughs> i'm just like you're gonna eat that whole pork chop like, like yes yeah. why is it that color that's all that's weird so i'm like i'm just not that. precious about about that um but no i really like weird shit on pizza uh, speaking of your totally incorrect viewpoint on mushrooms um the best thing about living here in washington now is that morels grow here and oh, so, you lucky bastard. Yeah. Julia, <laughs> I had a white pizza for my favorite pizza place. I had a white pizza with nothing but, uh, you know, cheese and uh, morel- sliced morels and some olive oil. And holy shit, it was good. Right. And I know like uh, Spirits has a live show tomorrow, but like if I show up on Saturday, is that like, does that work for you? Yeah. Like, you can probably catch season. like a, like a 10, 30, 11 PM flight. Yeah. Yeah. You really need to see I'll it. just leave Jake <laughs> with you guys and I'll, uh, I'll fly That's out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so wait, you're talking about Morel, the guy who we buried in the last game? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Sandy? That's why I don't like it. It's Let's recap. Let's check him out. All right. Let's see. Let's go back. Okay. So here, there was Guardians in again. Great. Thank you. Uh, here were the characters we were going to play in Brandon's one shot. It's pirate themed. Uh, we got some great characters. Yeah. I love good. them. Yeah. Save this, Eric. Let's come back. I'll come back we'll to come it. Back. Yeah, um, yeah. I really love Janet, Janet Bradley, and Martha the ship are all really good. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's a really hot lobster next to another guy down <laughs> yeah. at the bottom left there. Yeah. That's a great photo of the guy next to the lobster. Yeah. <laughs> I like that leather jacket that the guy next to the lobster is wearing. Great. <laughs> Man, that was the only good thing that came from our old job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your headshots. Yeah, yeah. those headshots. That's a work headshot. it's good yeah, it was. Yeah, that was that was someone who had a big old crush on Brandon. Took a photo of that. Mm-hmm. Took a photo of it. it was very funny. We won't get into that, but that's definitely not true. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. All right, moving on. Goku's in the sun. All right, all right. Bye, Goku. Uh, and then with the the Goku the sorry the Goku boys one shot. Yep. Uh, where we have our our dogs, where we have skills, and Billy Joel the dog is there, and Monroe got got. Yep, I love this. Them. I love it. I would play this. This would be fun. So I know good. you would. So good. Oh, well, <laughs> Julia. <laughs> I know you would, yeah. you stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Stop asking. Stop asking. And then here's Morel, the, the, the guy who's in there. And then <laughs> Bucket. <is> not... <laughs> Stop asking. Stop asking. Yeah. I didn't do it. 
Stop. Stop. Um, doesn't know George Bush. Stop asking. Not this. Not yeah, yeah. There's no Warren Bossing say. Stop. No. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Stop. And then, of course, we have this incredible, based off of the incredible <laughs> treat from before. This is the only pizzeria in Elder. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie Lovchansky. Thank you, Astoria. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, New York. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, God. Thank you, Christian. Is Christian Devil? Yes, Christian uh, Devil. Thank you, Christian Devil. I think this really does look like making a murder. <laughs> <laughs> I love streaming. Uh, streaming's good. And then Amanda came up with her great uh, restaurant thing that she had before. Yeah. Carl's Max said, um, Eric definitely wanted to write mushrooms, did 9 11 for a second there. Yeah. Which, um, Carl's, I, I don't know how you have ESP, but he did. I, I mean, I didn't write it, so how can you say? How do you <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Uh, my yeah. face hurts from smiling. That's why I know it's a good stream. Jet fuel can't melt still beams, but mushrooms can. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms, mushrooms did 9 11, guys. I just had a vision of the vegan from Scott Pilgrim as like a vegan superhero, and he's like, but, but mushrooms can melt your insides. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone watch Loose Change. It's a movie will change your life. No one uh, fucking watched that movie. <laughs> Eric, too you, powerful. Twitch, you okay. Can, you can jokingly make heteropatriarchy those. bans off our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Defund the police. Come on, Twitch. Don't shadow ban us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was joking. It was parody. It's free speech. Oh, Don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're done. We're done. Go if you don't know who we are. Go follow us on I'm Twitter. I'm so sorry if you don't know who we are. <laughs> Welcome. Sorry. Go on Twitter. Welcome. Go on Instagram. This is to the, the restaurant podcast. on a Tuesday. The podcast is the restaurant on a Friday. Go check us out on a restaurant. We're a restaurant on a Friday. All the good. No one called out because All they're the good hungover. shit. Oh it's yeah. Good shit. Oh yeah. Oh god. Hey, I'm Kyle. I'm gonna sit with you guys for a little bit. <laughs> hey, I'm Kyle. I, I can take a load off, guys. Oh, did you drink that water? Mine now. Go. <laughs> working hard or hardly working. What's up? I'm Kyle. I'm your server. He's Juggles like fucking rolls. smoky to cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. He's, he hand rolled it too. It's a hand rolled <laughs> cigarette. It's like, oh, you guys have smell great. Yeah. It's a Swisher sweet. It tastes like like grape. <laughs> He's, he has a vape. He has a vape around his neck, but he's using a head roll cigarette. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, Julie, go eat more of your sushi. Happening. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please come every join every Thursday at uh, six p.m. Eastern, three p.m. Uh, East. What, what am I on? Pacific. What Thank the you. Fuck? I love you. I don't know, fucking four mountain. You know. Whatever, yeah, whatever the fuck it is, whatever. whatever fuck. If you're in Abu Dhabi, yeah. like shout out. If you're on a mountain, there. you know what you're about. I don't have to tell you about your time zone. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't care about time zones on a mountain. You know you're about. Yeah, yeah. everyone oh. knows. Everyone knows that if you're above two thousand feet or below two thousand feet, the time zone's different. Yeah, it's if you're on a mountain, you do need to add an extra couple degrees to get us to boiling. So make yeah. sure you do, you do that. Yeah, extra baking soda too. It's important. Brandon, yeah. that's what pepperonis is. Time moves slower <laughs> underwater. <laughs> I think if we don't end this stream, Julia might actually Goodbye. die. So. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.